What's up, everybody? Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to our life in Holland. I am just hanging out here on the front porch, letting Annabelle out, getting a little vitamin D in the middle of winter. It's that time of year where it is always freezing. The days are a little bit shorter. So I always try to get outside and get a little sun on my face, even though it's not super sunny today. But it definitely helps with that winter gloominess that we all feel in the winter time. We actually are wishing for some more snow. We have been dying to go sledding and there's been two problems with that. Number one, kids don't have boots or snow pants, so I plan on going out and trying to find some winter gear for them. But number two, we don't have any snow. We usually get lucky and get a lot of snow for the winter time, or for Christmas. We usually get lucky and get a lot of snow for Christmas. It's a white, magical Christmas. We haven't really had a lot of snow this year. I am actually headed to take Landon to physical therapy today. This is his third day in a row. It's another holiday weekend with New Year's coming up. So we got him in two hours a day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week. As I've told you before, he's growing a lot this year. He's extra tight, so all of this therapy has been awesome for him. You can step up, but the other one has to go all the way over. And stays on. This one stays on, right? And then that one steps all the way over. Okay, so. This one steps up, that one steps up, oh, all the way over. Yep, okay, stop. Now step all the way over. All the way over. turn over to soccer practice. Now you guys, soccer has been very different because of COVID. In fact, his entire season has been canceled, but practice is not, practices remain. So they have this huge facility that is owned by the Real Salt Lake that they open up um, and they have some pretty strict guidelines. They can stand wearing a mask. They actually make everyone, uh, they check everyone's temperature as they come in, things like that, to make sure COVID's not being spread. But we wanted to give you a glimpse of what soccer looks like right now this time of year. Even though games have been canceled, practice is still going. But because it's so cold outside, they've had to actually use this indoor facility. So it's pretty incredible. He actually does it three times a week. Uh, honestly, generally late at night. As you see, it's actually starting to get a little bit late. It's around, what, 5.30 right now. It's about an hour and a half long practice. Let's go get a glimpse of Turin playing soccer here because it's been a little bit since we've shown you guys and give you a little update on what this looks like right now this time of year and what his team is doing to prepare, hopefully, for the season whenever they open it back up. Utah actually never ceases to amaze me. Utah is honestly incredible. As we were driving here, a huge herd of elk were just hanging out on the main side of the road. I mean, something that's very, very rare. Clearly it is not elk hunting season, otherwise they probably wouldn't be sitting there. But just these huge elk, both male and female, just hanging out right there on kind of like the main road. So I actually put the drone in the air to go film and get close to these things. They're just incredible. Seriously, Utah just never ceases to amaze me. We love Utah. We love um, the seasons. I personally like the winter probably more so than Lindsay does, but I could probably get convinced living by the ocean. I wouldn't mind living by the ocean for a few years. We certainly, that, that's probably the only thing that's missing in Utah, in my opinion, is, is the actual ocean. There are times like today when you drive and you see all of a sudden just elk, which is a pretty rare sight to see, because they, you know, they generally hide up in the mountains. Just hanging out, you know, makes you appreciate sometimes, uh, you know, the beauties of, of where you live. All 
right, Landon and I just got back from physical therapy and I wanted to give you guys a little update on his surgery. A lot of people have been asking where we're at with all of that. I know I mentioned back when we found out about the surgery that we were going to look into all of our options. So now that Christmas is over, I've had a little more time to dedicate to figuring out exactly what the next step is. I've decided to make a bunch of different appointments. We're gonna get a second opinion and I am looking into a couple of other options that are a little bit less invasive. One of those options is called SPML. Now without going into a ton of detail, kids with cerebral palsy have something called spasticity and it makes their muscles really tight. Every time that they grow, their muscles get even tighter because they have a hard time keeping up with their bone growth. So there's lots of different options out there. There are a lot of different types of surgeries out there with the idea that they are either going to lengthen the muscle or do little micro tears in order to help those muscles lengthen like they should. So SPML is probably the least invasive type of surgery that you can do and they go in there and they do little micro tears in the fascia to loosen up the fascia that sometimes hardens and little micro tears in the muscles and it's a same day type of surgery. The incision is very small. So if we can do something to loosen him up and to change what's happening in his body right now that's causing the hip to come out of socket, then that could hopefully be a step in the right direction. We're hopeful, seems like a really great option. This particular surgery is only done two places in the entire country. New Jersey and Texas are the two places where there are doctors that perform this type of surgery. So we would probably be making a trip to Texas. We're still in the beginning stages of looking into this, but feeling hopeful and excited about that option. What's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to Our Life in Holland. I am actually here with Landon today. We are headed to Primary Children's Hospital up here in Salt Lake City by the University of Utah. We are headed up to go meet with the neurologist. Now, as you guys know, Landon has been having some seizures and- There are many ones. There are little mini ones, as we've talked about, micro seizures. And he's had a couple that have put him in the hospital. That being said, we have decided to come up here to meet with a neurologist to get a little bit more information to find out what is going on and to find out if there's anything more that we can be doing. In addition to that, we're also meeting with an orthopedic that will tell us a bit more information about his gait that will allow us to also do a surgery that which we are planning to do here in early February. So today is actually a very important day. It's just Landon and I up here because of COVID, they will not allow more than one parent and parents need to be in more than one place at the same time. So Lindsay has stayed back at home to grab the kids and take them to their various activities and practices and whatnot. And Landon and I get to be up here and learn more about out what we can do to make this guy a rock star. Okay, so first up is orthopedics. We gotta go there to request x-rays which we will then send to a doctor in Texas. We're gonna do that first and then we're gonna rush over to the neurologist. Orange station six, go baby. Ophthalmology, this one right here, it's gotta be this one. Brother, we did it. We made it just in time. Yes, we did. If you've ever been up to Primary Children's here in Utah, it is a pretty incredible facility. They've got a main hospital, which we were just in over there in orthopedics, multiple levels. And they've got this really cool walkway then that you come over to the outpatient facility, which is where the neurologist is, which we're, we've been here, I think, a couple of times, have we not? Yeah, I yeah. think. How many buildings do they have? I don't know, they got a lot of buildings up here. So it's right next to the University of Utah. They also have, a, I think, a University of Utah hospital up here too, do they not? I think. So I hope today when we meet the neurologist is that we will understand a little bit more about what's going on and how we can continue to try to do things that can help prevent seizures from happening. He doesn't have them very often. They're actually pretty rare, but the ones that lately that he has had, you know, it's required him to go to the hospital. So trying to figure out if there's anything more that we can be doing to almost eliminate them entirely. So for those that are new to the channel, 
channel, Landon is diagnosed with childhood epilepsy. So it is something that he is supposed to grow out of. He's had them for about two years now, and they come intermittently, but the intent and hope is that over time he'll grow out of them. So hopefully we'll get some more answers today, but if not, we're having a party, having a good time running around the hospital today. Mm -hmm. All right, so Lynn and I are in here. We've made it successfully into the doctor's office. We are currently waiting for the doctor to arrive. Apparently we're meeting with a nurse practitioner today. We've got mom on the phone here because they would not allow her to come. We've got her on the phone. Mom, say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. There we go, so we got mom here. Lynn is enjoying a little after-school snack. Food snack. Okay, so we just finished up with the neurologist and really good meeting. So it was actually the nurse practitioner, not the neurologist this time. Very sweet lady though. Gave us some good info, things to be kind of aware of. But all in all, guys, he's healthy. The medicine that he's on is, is intended to, to stop kind of all seizure activity, hopefully from here on out, so fingers crossed. But all in all, it was a really positive conversation and we're doing all the things that we should be doing and she had nothing but really nice things to say about Landon, actually. Didn't she, buddy? Yeah. She said he was a very sweet kid and fun personality. Of course, he's you know walking around saying hi to everybody and was drawing coloring pictures with the other nurse while we sat there and spoke for a bit. But guys, all in all, pretty healthy. So I think this kid here has earned some sort of treat for being such a patient young man as we are here talking about him today. So where do you want to go? I don't know. Where do you want to go? Huh? Where do you want to go? I don't know. Will you give me some options here? We got swig. We got fizz. Maybe fizz. Fizz? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Yo, buddy. There you go, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> All right, you guys, today's been non-stop. I promise you, Lindsay, the better looking half of this family is gonna jump on the camera sometime today, I promise, but she has been full blown mom mode. I mean, she has probably called four or five doctor's offices today, multiple times over, just scheduling meetings, appointments, x-rays, just so we in preparation for this surgery. So it's been a little bit of a whirlwind, whereas I have, on the other hand, have just been going and handling Landon's appointments with him this afternoon. So we are back home now. Our sweet friend, Kaylee Monday, just picked up the twins and Ava for a little birthday celebration. Ava was included. They've got the sweetest kid. She's the sweetest friend to come over and grab them. And they're gonna go celebrate Landon and Ashton's birthday for a little bit while Turn and I head over to his soccer practice. Yes, you heard it again and again and again and again. Lots of soccer. So we're off to soccer and then hopefully we can just kick back and relax and enjoy a nice Friday evening because so far it ain't happening. Guys, thank you for hanging out with us today. I know you have not seen this lady the entire day. She has been very busy planning birthday parties, doctor's appointments. You guys, it has been a crazy week. We decided at the beginning of the week that we were going to celebrate the twins individually, and I'm so glad that we are. But that, on top of so many other things going on right now, and we are drowning a little bit. And thanks to this guy for really stepping up today, going to the neurology appointment. I got to be there on the phone, but he saved me today did soccer, he was super dad, super husband, super everything. Can we just give him a round of applause? Thank you, thank you. 
all while working and trying to manage all of that on top of that. But we have a very exciting weekend coming up. We are going to be doing separate birthday parties for the kids. We're gonna celebrate their actual birthday on Sunday. We're gonna video that for you guys. We also are going to be doing a special twin birthday live that day. So if you missed that, make sure you go back and watch that. I have some pretty big updates coming about Landon's surgery and Texas. We've got upcoming soccer trips. So much ahead, you guys are not gonna wanna miss these vlogs. Thank you so much for joining us today. And guys, when we say birthday month, generally we're kind of joking, but it really does feel like this month is literally a birthday month because there's two of them and we're doing <laughs> separate dates, separate birthday parties, separate family celebrations, anyway. We've never really done so much individual in the past and now I'm realizing why. But it's been awesome. <laughs> we love birthdays. And they really make January so much better. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed hanging out with us today and going to Landon's doctor's appointments. That's kind of an intimate look into sometimes the day in life of Lando. So thanks for hanging out with us. Be sure to subscribe down below if you're new to our channel. Turn on those notification bells. Do us a favor if you liked today's video, smash the like button, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright guys, I did not know how Lindsay and I missed this water park. This place is incredible. We're talking wave pool, we're talking splash pad, we're talking kiddie center, we're talking like water ground playground. They've got a wave rider, they've got water slides. Oh my gosh, I would have spent all day here the last couple days. This is unreal. They got a lazy river, ping pong. I can't feel it. I'm serious. It's heated. I'm not gonna shove you in. Are you kidding me? Guys, the last day here. I want to feel the sun. The sun is shining on me.
<laughs> you guys, we are so sad to leave. <laughs> I've got a little something on your face. Guys, this has been such an incredible trip. Seriously, we've had so much fun with Chris and Emily. The amenities have been amazing. The wedding. <laughs> Don't, don't go so far into the ocean is what yeah, she's saying. So the amenities have been amazing. The sights have been amazing. The people have been amazing. They have been so amazing. Do I sound all over my face? Yes, yes, I do. Dude, don't you ever wash your face? We're so sad to go home. We really are. However, good news is our flight got delayed an hour, which means we can spend <laughs> a little bit longer here in beautiful Cancun. The good news is we get to go home to our sweet little babies who we miss so much. They're not even babies anymore, but they're our babies. Kids, we're coming home soon. We miss them. That's the waves hitting Lindsay every time, just as you guys know. Just, we miss them so much and can't wait to hug them. I'm going to completely shock Justin right now. Babe, I'm coming! I'm coming! Ah! Oh, right. <laughs> Holy cow, that water is so salty. <laughs> On a scale from one to ten, how shocked are you right now? That you got in? <laughs> like a dick. <laughs> the water's right, a little chilly today. That was the last one. That's it. In. The last hurrah. Here we go. Of Cancun, Mexico. Back to Utah we go. Don't mind the ladies up here in first class. Oh, yeah, yeah it's very comfortable up here. I hope you take note. Yep, 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 yep. Chris and I will be waiting again in the back. I insisted that I didn't take this seat, and he's insisting that I stay here. Yep. He's actually changing his mind after sitting in the seat. I'd like to come talk to you about this. this yes, All right, here are our captains here today. Woo. Safe flights all the way back to Utah, right, fellas? Oh, yeah. Yep. All right. All right, you guys, we made it home safe and sound. We are so happy to be home with our cute little kids. They are all asleep right now, but we can't wait to see them in the morning. Wanted to answer a few questions and tell you guys about some pretty crazy, exciting news that we have. Number one, one of the biggest questions that I haven't addressed yet is my hair. For those of you who have been here for a long time, you know that I have some clip-in extensions that I do wear occasionally. But these are actually some extensions that I had installed, would you call it? <laughs> right before our trip. And it has been so fun, such a fun change. My regular hair does not grow very long and so it's been kind of a fun change to have some hair extensions. I actually have been working on an Instagram video of the whole process of getting them sewn in in the back. I've got some tape-ins in the front. Anyway, I can't wait to share it with you guys. Second question is, a lot of you have been asking if we had to take a COVID test when we were in Mexico before we came back to the United States. Answer is yes, we did take a COVID test when we were in Mexico. The hotel had COVID tests on site. They made it super easy. And we also got tested for COVID before we left for Mexico. So... Guys, it was incredible, Mexico in there. Just how much they had there to maintain social distancing, to be clean and I mean hand sanitizer everywhere you went. Masks were required outside the resort. Masks were required inside of stores. Hand sanitizer were required before you went into stores. They'd wash your feet at the buffet. Every time you went back, they'd, they'd hand sanitizer. It was actually really, really impressive. 
the efforts they went there to keep everyone safe. They were amazing. Okay, on to the big news, the big announcement. You guys, something so big happened while we were on our trip. As you all know, we have been waiting to hear back from the doctor in Texas to be able to discuss the possibility of getting Landon SPML selective percutaneous myofascial lengthening, a surgery that could be so huge for Landon. Well, we got that phone call while we were on our trip and we were able to talk to the doctor. We were so impressed with the doctor. His name is Dr. Ingvi. He was so great. He went through every detail of Landon, how he walks, his history, what muscles are tight and discussed with us what it would look like, the ways that it could help him, all the positive benefits that he could receive from it and we got the go-ahead to schedule their surgery. Guys, which is huge because his mobility has decreased pretty significantly. Actually, if you go back in some of our videos or our Instagram, he used to run around the block with me. He had to run a full mile, and now he, he can't stand for very long. He has to sit down, he gets tired, and as recently, I think we, he may have hurt his knee. This could not have come at a better time for us. Yes, and in talking to his physical therapist, his current gait, the way that he walks and the way that he stands is causing his hip to slowly dislocate. We've talked about this before, but it went from 30% to 40% out in a year. And every single day right now, because his gait is so severely pushing that hip out, we're feeling nervous that he's continuing to come out of the socket, which is not a good thing. It's not what we want. So we feel very strongly that we need to get him into this surgery as soon as possible. So, so we called the scheduler and we found out that they have an opening at the end of this upcoming week. So we are so excited. Our heads are spinning. We are trying to make plans, but most of all, our hearts are so grateful. We cannot believe it's really happening that we're getting him him this surgery and it couldn't come at a more perfect time we actually got home tonight and my sister said that he couldn't walk to the car when she picked him up tonight he's just really really struggling so we are feeling so incredibly grateful thank you for all your prayers we are feeling them and we are so excited as a safety precaution we're all going to get tested for COVID before we go however we anticipate that being negative because we were just tested yesterday and it was negative so we're super excited to be able to go and get this done for Landon so we have a lot to accomplish in the next couple couple of days. This is a total whirlwind. Justin and I have seen some of the before and after videos from some of the kids who have gotten this surgery before and the results are incredible. incredible. So you are not going to want to miss the videos this week. Make sure that you subscribe down below if you haven't already. Smash the like button for Lando tonight and we will see you guys tomorrow. See you guys. Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to Our Life in Holland. If you missed yesterday's video, we found out some pretty huge news at our house. Landon was able to get in the schedule for the surgery that we have been waiting for in Texas. And we are feeling so excited, so grateful. It seems to be coming at the perfect time because for the most part, he's done pretty well over the last week. But just last night, my sister texted me as we were on our flight home and said, that Landon was in a lot of pain. He was having a really hard time walking. She asked Turin how normal this was for Landon and he said that this was the worst that he'd ever seen him. So this morning when Landon woke up, I asked him how he was feeling. He said that his knee was in pain and he is having the hardest time walking that I have ever seen before. So I've decided to keep him home today and tomorrow from school. I've been working with his teachers all morning, letting them know that he will be gone the entire week this week and possibly next week, depending on how he's doing, working with them to figure out exactly what we can do to do some school from home as he's able to, you know, we kind of have to find that balance and get him the rest that he needs for this surgery. So we're working with his teachers. We are also working on getting flights, getting him registered at the hospital, getting a hotel booked, figuring out all the details, getting unpacked, getting repacked, doing the laundry. Another important item to do on the to-do list today is we need to get Landon a negative COVID test. The hospital there requires that he has a negative test within five days of his surgery. So we are going to a place today where they can give us a rapid test for COVID as well as a PCR test for the hospital. So that's on the to-do list today. I'm gonna to be hanging out with Landon, icing his knee, putting some Arnica cream on his knee, doing everything that I can to help relieve some pain. We are also going to get him to his physical therapist today to see if she can do some things to relieve some pain. So lots of important things on the to-do list today. Yeah. 
something up your nose for five seconds and then it comes out. Okay. Do you want him to lean his head back? Okay, if you just want to keep your head still for me. All right, one, two, three, four, and five, you're done. Good job, Lando. Way to go. You did it, how was it? It didn't hurt. It didn't? Oh, I'm so relieved. You got the hard one out of the way first, buddy. Can you want to hold my hand? No, I'm good. Okay, you're okay? Okay. What's your name? Landon, Dan. Landon? Yeah. How'd you like that last time? It was okay. This one's a lot easier, okay? It is. Awesome. What's, what, what's the name? The name of this test? Yeah. This is the rapid test. Yeah, this is the one that's gonna tell us really soon. You ready, bud? Do the same thing. <laughs> Put your head back for a little bit. Not that far. Just there, a little that's bit. Perfect, right there. I'm gonna go up both nostrils this time, but not as far. Try to do that. a little bit. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. We just gotta do the other side now, okay? Am I doing a good job? Yep, you're doing great. One, two, five. All done. Where to go, man? Good job, bud. You did it. Thank you so much. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Okay. Good job. Halfway done. You okay, mom? Yes, but that was uncomfortable. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's making my eyes water. No wonder you gave me a Kleenex, Lando. You knew I was gonna cry a little bit. One test down, one to go. You're a lot tougher than I am, buddy. A lot braver, too. All right, one more time here and then do the other side. Yeah, okay. probably. <laughs> That one a lot you are all done. So Landon and I both received two different tests today. We got the rapid test, which gives you the result by five o'clock tonight. You also can wait like we are doing right now and they'll give you the test results within 15 minutes. And then we also got a PCR test, which is required by the hospital for Landon, not for Justin or I, but we just wanna make sure that we have a negative test before we go out there for this surgery. So we got the PCR test done as well. We will get those results back in a couple of days. So we are just waiting here to find out our rapid test results and then we will get an email with our PCR test results in a few days. All right, I just heard from the technician. He came up to our window and let us know that Landon and I both tested negative. <laughs> which is what we expected. We are not having any symptoms, any signs. We are both feeling awesome and feeling grateful to have gotten that negative test back. So now we just need that PCR test result for Landon to submit to the hospital and we are ready for this surgery. All right, Turbo and I just came over to the pediatrician because I learned that while I was gone on Saturday, Turn had a little bit of a rough game on Saturday and a player on the other team who was very tall, he was a very big guy, pleaded Turin. it was pretty painful. His toe became very bruised. He's been in a lot of pain and it actually tore a hole in his sock through his cleat, which is kind of crazy. But Turin actually has a big soccer tournament coming up this weekend. He has his very first ECNL competition here in Utah. Another team is traveling from out of state to come here and compete with Turin's team. And he has four practices this week. So we felt it was important to come in and make sure that his toe is okay because if he needs to take some time off and heal, we want him to be able to do that rather than keep re-injuring it or, or causing more harm. His Achilles tendon is hurting. He also is still having shoulder pain. It got a little bit better in between the week, but when he went to play a basketball game again on Saturday, it started to hurt him a lot. So when he uses my arms a lot, it hurts. Just, yeah, just when he uses his arms a lot. So we are just going to have the doctor check him out, be extra cautious going into a lot of intense games coming up because if he needs to sit out, he needs to sit out. We've got to take care of his body first. So we're going to get him all checked out today and go from there. Turin and I just got out of the pediatrician and he checked them all out and he feels confident that Turin's shoulder is probably just strained and that we have no reason to feel stressed there. He said to let pain be his guide as far as his shoulder. So no stress there. As far as his toe, he also believes that it is probably not broken. He feels pretty confident that it's fine, but he said that it's really hard for them to know for sure without an x-ray. He said that there are times where they're sure it's broken and it's not. And there are times where they are very confident that it's not broken 
and it is. I actually remember hearing this the last time that we got an x-ray for Ashton. We got to the hospital, got the x-ray, and he was not fractured. But in this particular situation where we know that Turin's got a lot of intense physical activity with soccer coming up and it is really painful for him right now to kick a soccer ball, I feel that it's worth getting the x-ray. So we are going into this knowing that he probably doesn't have a broken toe, but we want to know for sure. Even if it's not broken, I do think that giving him a couple days off so that if it is just bruised or sprained, it can have a chance to heal before he has some of these intense games coming up, important games coming up. But like I said, his health is number one. So we're gonna go inside and find out exactly what's going on in there. All right, you guys, I have not been on the camera all evening because so much has happened and it has been a little bit of a whirlwind. Today was one of those days where I don't think I've brushed my hair. I have not put on an ounce of makeup. I don't know how much I've eaten today. <laughs> it just turned in from one thing to the next, to the next, from the second I woke up until super late at night. And it just kind of worked out that way. But so much has happened that I need to fill you guys in on. So when I got home from turns x-rays at the hospital, I took Landon to a physical therapist because I felt concerned about the fact that he couldn't walk and that he's in so much pain. Physical therapist felt that because of the bruising and the swelling that it would probably be a good idea to get him checked out knowing that his surgery is this week. So kind of a better safe than sorry, but I had a little bit of a mini meltdown <laughs> because I just know how important this surgery is and I, I think I just panicked. I just panicked. Number one, just so worried about him and kind of just going through worst case scenarios in my mind. If he tore something or he's got a broken bone, that that will make it so that he can't have this surgery. So I kind of panicked. I took him to the same doctor that we had just seen with Turin. Thankfully they had after hours tonight, so they were there late. We didn't get there until about seven o'clock. Saw that doctor. Thankfully, he feels very confident that Landon did not tear anything. He said there's always the possibility of a break, but that he thinks it would probably be more swollen and more bruised than it is. So his guess is that it is just kind of a deep bruise that's very painful. So he gave us the option to also go do x-rays and given the current circumstances, it was a no-brainer. I just needed to take him to get the x-rays for peace of mind in going forward with this surgery. As you know, we're traveling all the way out to Texas and it is so important that he gets this surgery. So we took him in to get x-rays tonight at the hospital. It kind of felt like deja vu, doctor, hospital, doctor, hospital, two different kids, exact same scenario. In fact, I, I kept joking with the nurses like, oh, hey guys, it's me again. Lindsay. And then I got to the hospital and was like, oh, yep, we're back. It, it was just almost comical, but not. <laughs> So we did get him the x-rays at the hospital, but by the time we got the x-rays, pediatrician's office was closed. So we don't have the results tonight. I'm feeling a little bit calmer and just praying my heart out that he doesn't have a broken bone and that he just has a bruise so that everything will be okay for the surgery. So I will keep you guys posted. I will let you know first thing tomorrow. You're gonna have to come back tomorrow to find out what happened with Landon's x-rays. But I did get the results back for Turin. His toe is not broken. <laughs> So that is a huge blessing in and of itself. He just has bruising or a sprain of some sort and the doctor said that he should heal quickly and to just let pain be his guide. So we're gonna give him some ibuprofen and have him ice it. He'll just go to practices and watch and be part of the team until he is ready to start playing again. So today was pretty stressful. It was a little bit physically and emotionally exhausting, but I'm trying to keep my head high and stay positive that everything's gonna work out. We have enlisted all of our family members to say prayers for Landon. If you are watching this video today, it should be coming out on our Friday, which if everything works out is Landon's surgery day. So I am praying that right now as you're watching this video, Landon is getting surgery or about to get surgery or recovering from, from surgery. And it gives me goosebumps to think about all of you guys around the world uniting in prayer and thoughts 
for Landon. So thank you once again for all of your love and support for Landon each and every single day and for our family. Each and every one of you have been such a light to our family and we are so grateful for you. So thank you for coming and watching today's video and all of our chaos and craziness. Make sure you come back tomorrow, find out what happened with Landon as we continue to prepare for this long awaited surgery in Texas. Have a good night and we will see you guys tomorrow. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Bingham Family Channel, Our Life in Holland. I hope you guys are all having a great day. I am feeling so much better today than I was yesterday. For those of you who missed yesterday, so much happened. Landon and I both went and got COVID tests. We went to the pediatrician and to get x-rays, not once, but twice with two different children. You would think that if both of them needed to go, that it at least would have worked out that we could have gone at the same time, but it definitely didn't work out that way. The good news is we found out yesterday that Turn's toe is not broken. Yes, it is still painful. Yes, it is still bruised, but it will heal a lot faster knowing that it's not broken. And even better, I found out this morning, the first thing when they opened, I called the pediatrician's office and said, will you please find out the reason results of Landon's x-rays. They called me back about an hour later and let me know that Landon's x-rays look fine. That was such a relief. For those of you who need to be caught up to speed here a little bit, Landon is having a very specialized surgery in Texas in just a couple of days. We leave tomorrow for that. I was feeling a little bit panicked last night that an injury to his knee was going to stop us from having this surgery. And as you all know, this surgery is so important. We are so grateful that we were able to get in. We're so grateful that we're able to make this trip, that he's able to get this surgery that is honestly going to be life-changing for him. We have seen so many before and after videos of kids who have received this surgery and it is very dramatic. We are feeling so hopeful and so grateful because Landon has slowly been declining in the last three to six months and it has been really hard to watch as his parents for him to go from such a lively active kid to losing so much mobility, getting so tight, having pain, knowing that his hip is slowly coming out of the socket. So I am feeling so happy, so grateful, so relieved this morning to know that we are still on track to leave tomorrow to go to Texas for this surgery. So many things to do to prepare for this surgery today. First thing was find out those x-ray results. Second thing was to stop here at the drugstore where they have wheelchair rentals. The doctor recommended that we get a wheelchair not only for the airport going to and coming back, but also after the surgery. He's not going to be able to walk right away and it's going to be a major adjustment because his body is going to feel so loose. So he said it will be much easier if we just bring our own wheelchair. Yes, hospitals have wheelchairs. Yes, airports have wheelchairs, but Sometimes getting from the car to that wheelchair can be challenging and it will just be easier for us to have our own. So just picked up a wheelchair. Landon has had an outpouring of love from so many people that love him. He had some balloons delivered from our neighbor who also happens to work with him at school. He got this little package from one of his therapists with all sorts of stamps and markers and stickers for the plane. He got a treat basket with all of his favorite treats from some sweet friends of ours on the soccer team. My sister just showed up at the door with my mom and my dad on FaceTime, Grandma and Grandpa Adams, and they have a little something special for Lando. This is so nice of you guys. You are so kidding me. Oh my gosh. Did you hear what Turin said? It's like a huge bop it. These are the all colors in one box. Really? Okay, you could not have nailed this any better. Yes. Okay, for anybody who knows Lando, he plays bop it nonstop. He's very, very good at it. He has a little handheld bop it, carries around it in his pocket everywhere he goes. This game, Simon, is kind of similar to that, a very similar idea, and the perfect gift because it's something that when you're sitting in a wheelchair and you've got casts on and you can't do a lot yet, you can definitely play this game. Such a thoughtful gift. to say the difference for Landon today is night and day. Yesterday he couldn't walk to the bathroom. He couldn't walk into the hospital to get into the wheelchair. I had to carry him. He was in so much pain. He couldn't put any weight on his knee, which is what was making all of us panic a little bit and take him in to get checked out. But it's amazing what a day will do. And normally we would have waited and just seen if the swelling went down, but we didn't really have the luxury of time and needed to know that he was okay for the surgery. But today he's a completely different kid. He's starting to be able to walk a little bit more normally. We 
have been icing his knee and putting a cream called Arnica on it, which helps with the swelling and the pain. It actually helps it to heal as well. So Lando's over here just icing his knee, and we actually got some KT tape put on his knee as well, because that's supposed to help with the swelling. We'll get that taken off before we go see the doctor in Texas, but we are just babying this little knee, and I think he's gonna be feeling a lot better by the time he needs to have surgery on Friday. All right, guys, so I think we mentioned, you guys saw in yesterday's video, Curran, we thought for a moment broke, his toe as it turns out he did not which we're super grateful for that being the case he's been encouraged to kind of maybe just rest up a little bit because he's got some very important games coming up here this weekend so that being said he also is on a very competitive team and you know he wants to show his team support and they got some big games coming up so he's resting up however he's at practice i brought him up to practice tonight he's just sitting on the sideline but he came honestly for support so obviously super grateful that his toe is not broken but at the same time don't want him to jump right back into it because you know oftentimes sprains and things like that could turn into into broken bones but he is up here supporting LaRocca today at practice and we'll do the same tomorrow and just kind of rest up before his big game this Saturday which we will be missing because we are going to be in Texas for Landon's surgery. So anyway, there's a quick update on Turns toe and kind of what we're doing here at practice tonight. Most of you know we have been waiting for this phone call from this doctor in Texas for over a month and we were so excited to finally hear back from the doctor because over the last few months Landon has slowly been declining, his pain has been increasing, his ability to move around and be himself and getting worse every single day. So we've been super anxious knowing the benefit that he could receive from the surgery. So once we talked to the doctor and discussed all of the ways that it could help him, all the different places where they could do the SPML, he gave us the go ahead to talk to the surgery coordinator and she let us know to our surprise that we could get on the schedule very quickly. Now we felt very strongly that we needed to get him on the schedule as soon as possible due to his current condition. Right now he's in a position with his gait where when he is standing or walking it is slowly pushing his hip out of the socket. So time is very important right now and we are so grateful that we got him in so quickly but it has been a bit of a whirlwind trying to get everything thrown together at the last minute. Flights, hotels, car rentals, getting all the paperwork taken care of, the payment, the deposit for the hospital, the COVID test, everything, all of our ducks in a row. And then on top of that, I have been trying to organize getting the kids all taken care of while we are gone. Up until a few days ago, I was planning on taking Landon out to Texas by myself and Justin was gonna stay back here with the kids. And then I got a text message from two different friends out of the blue asking when Landon's surgery was and insisting on taking our three kids who are staying home to her and Ashton and Ava so that Justin and I can both go out and be with Landon for this surgery in Texas. My sister, who has two little ones, has also offered to help. Even though she was here last week watching my kids, I have been blown away by the outpouring of kindness and love that we have received from so many people bringing things for Landon and just expressing their love, their offer of prayers and fasting. We are so incredibly grateful. The two friends that offered to take my kids have kids that are the same age as my kids and it makes it so much easier because they are so excited to go and they're so excited to be able to play with their friends and it has taken so much stress off of me and honestly just meant the world that they would reach out on their own and be so thoughtful and generous to us in our situation right now. I know that it's just a small moment and we'll all be back together again soon, but it's really hard to be away from my kids. So soon after I was just away from them, I just snuggled them when I got home from all the doctor appointments yesterday and I just told them how much I love them and how much I'm gonna miss them and that we need to be with Landon for this surgery, but how much I love them and how important they are to me. Their needs are just as important and to please call me if they need anything at all, if they're having a hard time at school, if they're struggling with their math homework, because I know that it's easy to feel lost, you know, when one child needs a lot of attention for something. And it's really hard for me to feel like I have to 
divide my attention right now. Cute little Ashton just said, mom, it's okay. Landon really needs this surgery and that's all that matters right now. And it honestly like brought me to tears because it was one of those Holland moments for me where I just feel like it really brings us together as a family and it's so sweet to see our kids be there for each other. You know, they're normal kids and they fight with each other and they have quarrels just like all siblings do. But when it comes down to it, they're really there for each other. Turin's first question when he woke up this morning was, mom, did you get the results back from the x-rays? Is Landon okay? He was so concerned about him. You know, last night before we left to go to the doctor and to get x-rays for Landon, I was crying. I kind of mentioned how I had a little bit of a meltdown and we all just stopped and said a prayer as a family. And after we finished that prayer, I just looked at everybody and I said this is what it means to be a family. And I'm so grateful for those moments. It's going to be so hard to leave my other three behind, but I know that we will all be together in spirit. And when Landon comes home next week, hopefully feeling like a completely different little boy, it will be worth the sacrifice. All right, you guys, sorry that it has been a lot of my face on the camera today. Justin has been working long hours today at work with so much going on this week away from work. So he is actually at soccer with Turin late tonight. I just got the kids to bed and I'm gonna go get everybody packed. So I'm signing off here tonight. Tomorrow is the big day. We head off to Texas. Make sure you come back tomorrow. It is going to be so awesome. We are so excited. If you are new here, welcome to our channel. Welcome to our life in Holland. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe down below, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Guys, what is up? Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to our life in Holland. This is a very, very special couple of days coming up here. We are currently at the Salt Lake City Airport, about to board a plane to Houston with Mr. Lando here for a surgery that we have been waiting for for so very, very long. We could not be more excited, guys, and we are so excited to have you with us. We had some tearful goodbyes to Ashton and Ava and Turin, but all three of them are so excited. They are being so supportive of Landon, sweetest siblings. We're gonna miss them so much, but we are feeling so excited and so grateful that the day is finally here and that we get to go to Texas for this surgery. So guys, thank you right now for your kind comments, your prayers, and your thoughts towards Landon. Many of you guys have been so sweet on our Instagram. So if you're not following us on there, be sure to do that at Our Life in Holland, but also just your comments as well, just here on YouTube. So you guys are such a wonderful support system. He is so thrilled to be going to Houston with us today. Fun fact, outside of the surgery, Landon's always said he wanted to go to Texas. So today his dream's coming true. And Landon, why is it that you always want to go to Texas, buddy? Because my dad's been, so. Well, what was what's the other reason? Uh, actually, I don't remember. Burgers, man. They got the best burgers <laughs> in the world here. So, as we told you yesterday, we rented a wheelchair. Landon actually, as you know, is a really great walker, but the airport is a very long walk. So, we're grateful to have this. We'll have it for before surgery, after surgery, whenever we need it. It's making the airport way better. All right, wait, you go to Houston. Do it. Houston, we uh, we have a stud here. I repeat, Houston, we have a stud here. All right, you guys, I have raved about this burger joint. For those of you that are in Texas, you'll know what I'm talking about. I've been raving about this burger joint for, well, for as long as I can remember. Lindsay's remembered it. Now, Landon and Lindsay can finally experience the deliciousness of Hop Dotties. And all Lando all wants right. is a cheeseburger, baby. Yeah. Hop Dotties, here we come. We just finished the hop 
Hobdotties, and we're about to get the verdict from Lindsay and Landon as to whether they feel like Hobdotties is one of the number one burger joints in the nation or not. Here we go, <laughs> drum roll. Lindsay. I thought Hobdotties was awesome. Loved it. Landon, what did you think? I thought Hobdotties was the best. You thought it was the best? You know what, Landon wanted a burger tonight and Landon gets what Landon wants. My baby wants, my baby gets, you know that. It's been kind of fun because we are on vacation with just one child. So unique that we get to be with just one of our kids right now. So kind of a special trip for the three of us and we are enjoying every minute of it. All right guys, let's go check into our hotel. we made it to Texas we are here we checked into our hotel and we are so excited to be here I was thinking today about Lannan's entire life and how we got here and I wanted to give a little bit of background to everybody who's new here or anyone who's confused why we're here some people have been asking is this the surgery that you were talking about a couple months First ago hip that we had talked about just to give you a little background Landon has something called cerebral palsy he was born with it and he has been in physical therapy his entire life worked super hard he he actually went from a level three in CP to a level one. He's done incredible, but like all kids with CP, he's had his ups and downs. When he has growth spurts, he struggles more. Kind of the two steps forward, one step back. You know, it's kind of been that way his whole life. But earlier this year, Landon was doing incredible. He was running miles with Justin in the summer. Literally, actually, that's not an exaggeration. He would run like miles with me. And then the very first time we noticed that he was struggling is when we went on a trip to Miami in October and he, he was having a really hard time with long distances. He was starting to limp and we just thought, okay, well, this is kind of one of those lulls and we'll just get him into his physical therapy when he gets back. Well, he just wasn't ever able to recover and we think that he went through a large growth spurt, a larger growth spurt than he's ever been through before. Now, fast forward December, we saw the orthopedic surgeon. He took x-rays of his hips and he let us know that his left hip was 40% coming out of the socket. So he suggested that we consider sometime in the year 2021 doing a massive hip surgery where they would break his femur. And we talked about this before for people who have been here for a while, that's the big surgery we were talking about. They'd break his femur, he wouldn't be able to walk for four months, a year long recovery, huge, huge undertaking. And all that would do was prevent dislocation. It wouldn't give him any immediate benefit just to his tightness and his walking, which is what he was really struggling with. Fast forward a few a little bit and we learned of this surgery specific to this doctor in Texas there are only two in the entire country and only I think three total in the entire world that do this specific type of surgery and it's very unique and it's incredible so with this particular surgery they go in there and they do little micro tears in all of the muscles where Landon is tight it's very specific to him the doctor studies the way he walks he looks into his background he sees his range of motion and he is going to go in specifically and loosen in Landon's hip flexors, his adductors, a little muscle in his quads, his hamstrings, and his calf muscle on just his right side. The doctor knows exactly how much to loosen. He says if he loosens him too much, then it can make him unstable or it can give him sway back. He has 25 years of experience doing surgery. And 15 years of this particular surgery. It's called SPML. And it's really unique because in all the places where his muscles are tight, he will now feel loose. I think Landon is going to feel like he's never felt before. He doesn't know what it feels like to feel loose. Uh, honestly, I kind of envision like a, 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 a someone who's hearing impaired hearing for the first time like his body's going to experience things that it's never experienced before it gives me chills to think about it one other thing that they do that's really neat is a nerve block so Landon has what's called spasticity cerebral palsy is neurological so the brain is sending a signal to his muscles it's over it's sending the message it's over firing the nerve block will block that signal that's coming from the brain that's causing the tightness. So spasticity causes the tightness in those muscles. When he has the nerve block, it will last a year and it will make a huge difference for him. Hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of a back, a little bit of background of where we've come from and where we're at now, why we're here in Texas and how incredibly huge this is for Landon. We are so, Honestly, I can't even describe the feeling of excitement that we have as his parents and for the bright future ahead for him. You guys, be sure to tune in to the videos that are following. You're not gonna wanna miss them. We've got some pretty awesome exclusives. Uh, we did speak to the doctor before we came and he said he'd let me actually 
at least be in the room when they put Landon to sleep under anesthesia. So you guys are gonna get a pretty cool look there. Check out our Instagram. Lindsay's posting stories more than she ever has on Instagrams at Our Life in Holland. Go check that out. Some pretty cool stories we posted on there that are kind of more in real time. But I also want you to know that you guys are in for a treat because this isn't just going to be a surgery. This is going to be a process of seeing Landon transform for the next couple of months through therapy, stretching, knee immobilizers. It's going to be so exciting to watch. Welcome to our channel if you're new here. Be sure to subscribe down below. More so now than ever, be sure to smash that like button for Lando on these videos and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, good morning, good morning. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Our Life in Holland. Welcome back to our channel, you guys. Thank you for being here. These are going to be a few very, very special days here in Houston with Lana and I. It is early in the morning. The sun has not yet come up. Express how excited we are to be here. We are so excited and so looking forward to this. Landon is so ecstatic. He's gonna walk out of there almost like a new person. You guys should see some of these videos. If you're curious, it's SPML. I think Lindsay mentioned that. Go look that up. You'll see some of the before and afters. They're absolutely incredible. But if you guys are new here, welcome to our channel. Be sure to subscribe. If you have not smashed the like button on these last couple of videos, please do so. Do it for Lando. I got up early. I couldn't sleep. I don't know what it was. It may have been the burgers we ate last night or just I'm being restless because this is such a big, big, big surgery. Lando's a little nervous. So I got up, couldn't sleep, just did a jog, finished some calisthenics. I just thought I'd want to jump on here and say good morning to you guys. And just say thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of our channel. You guys mean the world to us. Your support and kindness towards Landon in these special moments is so helpful. I and mean, honestly, it's what gives him courage in these types of moments. So guys, thank you. Today's gonna be an interesting day. Not a lot's gonna happen. We're gonna do a pre-op appointment with the doctor. That only about lasts about an hour. And then the day is kind of ours just to enjoy and to spend some time, possibly go swimming here at the pool. It's heated, which is great because after that, Landon will not be able to swim for some time. He'll have casts on his legs. He won't be able to walk for a little bit. And the recovery is, you know, gonna be at least four to six weeks before he's really, really back to normal. So we figure we'll take today and just kind of see what Houston has. I guess really Galveston, that's kind of, well, we're not quite to Galveston yet. We're gonna actually stay in a more comfortable hotel down in Galveston as soon as he's done Harry's surgery. For right now, we're trying to be close to the hospital. But today's just gonna be kind of a day enjoying the sights, spend time as a family. We checked with the kids last night. They're doing awesome at Chris and Emily's house. Having a blast, of course. Last night they call me giggling and laughing because they're trying to figure out how to put V-Bucks on their Nintendo Switches. Staying up probably later than we would <laughs> than we would even allow them. But you know what? Chris and Emily are their parents this weekend. This is not my responsibility. So guys, again, thank you for being here. Thank you for your kind comments. You guys are so sweet. You're so kind. You're so amazing. Yeah, let's see how today shakes out. First time we're meeting him in person. We have talked to him on the phone at length about Landon, but he's going to get to see him in person, see how he walks, see how tight his muscles feel, and then he'll make the final decision on exactly which muscles he is going to operate on. We talked to the yes. hospital this morning. They needed our negative COVID test for Lando, so we got that sent over, and they said that tomorrow they will take the kids in age order, so we don't know the exact time yet. He said if he were to guess, he would think 9 a.m which is way better than 5 a.m., so I'll take that. Landon is definitely feeling a little bit nervous about having surgery, which is totally understandable. I've had one before. But we have been talking about all of the positive things that are gonna come from this surgery and how hopefully he will be feeling so much better. to our appointment and we got some x-rays for Landon. The doctor wanted to get something that was very recent and very clear. And he said that this x-ray would be a little bit of a better quality picture. Now, something that we've mentioned before is that this doctor is one of two doctors in the entire country that does this surgery. He's a phenomenal surgeon and they asked us if they, we would participate in part of his research. So they are going to take a very detailed video of Landon so that it can hopefully benefit other kids in the future through research. All right, so something really cool just happened. Mr. Lando here made a new friend. 
which is not really surprising because Lana kind of makes friends everywhere he goes. <laughs> but this guy is pretty darn cool, right? He is uh, kind of a sneakerhead, loves sneakers, but he walked in and told Lana that he used to be like Forrest Gump, where, you know, Forrest Gump, where he, the, he wears those braces, right? I started moving around to the music. Swinging my hips. Yeah, he was born with club feet, and he wore braces as a kid, just like Forrest Gump did. And man, you probably don't know Forrest Gump is, but these are leg braces that actually helped him walk, kind of similar to sort of what you have, right? And he came and he said, Landon, I want you to know something. Never let anything let you down or slow you down, right? He said, you just keep going. Get in trouble is what he said. And I actually will okay with that advice. <laughs> Lindsay, this is probably okay with you. So anyway, that's pretty cool. These guys are so far an amazing staff, super kind people, and offering our son has some pretty good advice. If you make sure you, you make that happen, sir. <laughs> right? I don't want to sit back in my recliner and say, hey, I know that kid. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to get my autograph, too. We just barely got done with our appointment. We were there for two and a half hours this morning, going through everything. He was watching him walk. He was measuring his tightness and all the different muscles, trying to make the very best decision for exactly what to do for Landon. He is such a great doctor. We were so impressed by him. And we're gonna staff give you- was very nice. Oh, the staff was incredible. I have to say, there is definitely a Southern charm in Texas. The, everybody we met was just so kind and so happy and just so warm and welcoming. So, Texas. We love you. Welcome to the great state of Texas. We are going to give you lots more details on what we learned and what's exactly what's going to happen, why he's having the surgery, and fill all of you in for anyone who's new here or doesn't know exactly what's going on. But first, we're going to go eat because we are starving. We actually got a giant recommendation list from two of the cute girls in there telling us all the places to eat while we are here. We came over here to a place called Red River Barbecue, and I have to tell you, this feels like Texas right now. We ordered all of the barbecue food over here. We've got brisket, ribs, mac and cheese, beans, potato salad, coleslaw, all the good southern barbecue. And as you know, ribs are one of Lando's favorite. Right, Lando? So that's what he ordered. All right, Landon's only wish before he has surgery tomorrow is he wants to go swimming. And once he has his surgery tomorrow, he's going to have a cast on his right leg, which means he can't go swimming for the next four weeks. So guys, right now, comment down below a virtual signature for Landon's cast, because he's gonna get a cast, a hard cast, just as if you had broken a bone. And of course, you know, we want everyone to sign it. So comment right now <laughs> your name, and we'll count that as a signature towards Landon's cast. <laughs> so we got all dressed up in our swimming suits, headed down to the pool at our hotel, only to find a closed for maintenance sign. Apparently the pump is broken and it is not going to be fixed for a while. So we decided to pull it to audible, pack people. up. So we ran back to our hotel, packed up our stuff, and we are headed to a new hotel that we were actually going to check into tomorrow. We decided to go a day early because I'm they sorry, but on this trip, what Landon wants is what Landon gets. My baby wants, my baby gets, you know that. So Lando, we are gonna find you a swimming pool. Yay. Even better, this swimming pool, open till 1 a.m. We will not be swimming till 1 a.m. But it is also heated to 90 degrees, which is just how this mom likes it. Because our family hasn't really explored Texas before, it's been kind of fun to try different restaurants, see different places. The hotel we were just at was a beautiful boardwalk area in Kima, did they say it? Kima. In Kima, which is on the water. But now we are heading down to Galveston, which is on the ocean. I know a lot of cruise ships leave from Galveston, so we're excited. session with elevators and buttons since he was a little kid. <laughs> and with hotel key cards actually. And time. And time. So guys, we are staying at the San Luis Resort over here in Galveston and it is unreal.
<laughs> All right, everybody, we have made it pool side out here. It is gorgeous, it is beautiful. Lana has been waiting for this plunge. Hey, Lana, come over here where it's a little bit deeper. All right, guys, the long awaited plunge for Mr. Landon Bingham. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> goodness. Guys, we are at the San Luis Resort over here in Galveston, and oh my goodness, I just jumped into this pool, and it's a hot day, which it's is incredible. My kind of pool. <laughs> Bear in mind, it's 30 degrees back in Utah. It's about 60-something degrees here. It's not warm like the dead of summer can be in Texas. It's a little cool on the cooler side. Sure. Plus, we're by the ocean, so there's a, there's a large this breeze from the ocean. might be the most peaceful pool I've ever jumped in my entire life. I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but there is steam coming off of the water. Big Just like a big giant bathtub. <laughs> it feels amazing. Because heaven knows, if it was freezing water, I'm not sure that I would be swimming around in it like these guys. You guys, we have spent the entire day at the pool and we could not be happier with our decision to come down here. The pool behind me is 90 degrees. It's basically like one big bathtub. It is so amazing. You can just see the steam coming off of the pool. We have been swimming all day. We ran up to the room and had some snacks. They had this yummy charcuterie board, chocolate dipped Oreos, chocolate covered strawberries. We have been eating way too much. It's been so fun. My favorite part of today is Landon getting a pina colada. He ordered two, two virgin pina coladas because I told you the theme of this trip is whatever Landon wants, Landon gets. And it's been so fun to spoil him. All that he wanted the day before his surgery is to be able to swim because once he has that cast on, he can't get it wet for four weeks. Landon is a fish. He loves the water. He honestly is so happy when he's swimming. So it's been so fun to just spoil him today. And I actually think this is the perfect place to be because even tomorrow when he can't get wet, they have these fun little fire pits over here. They have a ton of amazing restaurants in here. We are having such a great time. In fact, right now we are heading over to the ocean. Justin has landed on his back. They want to just go jump in the waves for a few minutes. The sun's going down. It's been such a great day. Hey everybody, Father Bingham here. Father Justin, tuning in from the GoPro Hero 9. Oh, gnarly! We're making our way. Oh, you're choking me out. <coughs> choking me out, Lando. Come up higher. All right, you guys, coming to you live. Heading down to the beach. Choking me again. You're choking. <laughs> there we go. Head down. You're choking again. <laughs> there we go. Much better. All right, you guys. Mama, you here? I'm here. All right. We are heading down to the beach because it's right across the street and you're choking me again. <laughs> So we actually did bring a wheelchair. However, we're not gonna use that wheelchair until it is absolutely necessary after his surgery. Just who needs a wheelchair when you have dad? So today, Lando, and for as long as you need it, my friend, I will be your legs. So let's cross this busy road and go hit the beach. Guys, look where we are. This is awesome. I would say, Lindsay, if we ever cruise, we might have to take a cruise out of Galveston. Cool. I'm sold. I think it's beautiful. I may not be sold on how slow this light is. That's true. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a rock on my foot. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. Sand. Oh. Hey, Lando, Lando. Beach watch. More like Baywatch, buddy. Oh, beach watch. <laughs> Mama. Woo! Wow, mom, it's either the GoPro or you, but you look smoking right now. <laughs> All right, my friend, we venture into the great abyss of the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> Hurry, bro! 
Here comes water. Ah, it's getting me, Leto. Get out my back. Get out my back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's cold. Ah! Ah! Oh, wait, you're not even in the water. You can't scream. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Should we go back? Yes. All right, did you see enough? Yes. Should we run from this one? Go! <laughs> <laughs> You're blowing my eardrum out. Don't scream so loud. I keep thinking about what a special little experience this has been to be just the three of us. So unique that the three of us would be on a trip together without all of our other kids. And obviously we miss them so much, but it's been kind of a special trip to just be with cute little Lando, especially since he's been having a harder time and struggling to walk and you can see as they were walking to the beach. You know, it's been kind of a tough couple of months for him. So it's been kind of fun to just be the three of us and be able to have someone on one time with him and spoil him a little bit. This little fish behind me has had us in the pool for hours and we are loving it. We actually decided that we are going to eat dinner poolside tonight. Over here, you can order pizza from a place called The Grotto. Apparently, it's a really yummy restaurant that you can find in Vegas. It's everywhere and they have really good pizza. Where's the pizza? So we ordered a pizza and we ordered some chips and guacamole and queso and salsa. And we are gonna have a little poolside party tonight for dinner, huh, Land? Yeah. Because we figured once the surgery's over and we can't swim anymore, we can go out to eat and we can do all sorts of other fun things. But tonight we are going to eat pizza in the pool. Yep. Over here they've got these cool little stools. We don't even have to get out of the water. Our appetizers have arrived. Landon is getting comfortable over here on his poolside chair. Yes, we are poolside eating guacamole. Lando, we got queso. Guys. We've got salsa, we've got chips. This is the best right now. Talk about a free surgery celebration right here, everybody. <laughs> this is the best. We are living it up today. He's on my shoulder. He hates, he hates being kissed. <laughs> no, I don't. I love being kissed. My mom. <laughs> oh, you don't know how much dad yeah. kissed him. Yeah, he hates it. Mm -hmm. Hey, buddy. Oh, God, I'm going to fall home. Oh, my God. <laughs> Landon, Landon, mom, he's down. Landon, say hi. <laughs> hey, buddy! <laughs> and are you okay? Hey, guys, Dad here. <laughs> hey, guys, Mom here. Hi, guys, Landon here. <laughs> hey, Chris! Alright, you guys. I would say that we partied pretty darn hard today. Wouldn't you say, Lando? Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, I would say that if there's ever been a pre-surgery party, we probably did it today. Yeah, we had so much fun spending the day with this guy. We are getting him all tucked in bed. We're gonna say a special prayer together and get ready for this surgery tomorrow and he's gonna just nail it. I know it, found it. It's gonna be awesome, huh? Guys, thank you for all your sweet, kind comments. So many people have said Landon is in your prayers. Guys, we really appreciate that. Thank you so much. We've got a lot of people praying for you tomorrow, Landon. People from all over the world. Family, friends, subscribers. We've got lots and lots of friends who watch this YouTube channel and they're all praying for you. Pretty awesome. So guys, the surgery is tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. So to be there at 8. Gotta be there at 8. However, you guys are not gonna wanna miss tomorrow's video and here's why. Go ahead, tell them. It's cause 
my dad gets to be in there with me. That's right. So the doctor has given me permission to be in the surgical room with Landon. Now I did that as well long, long ago when he got a stem cell treatment, long before we started shooting things on YouTube. But that'll be kind of exciting because he was a little bit nervous and so they gave me permission to suit up and be in there with him. So exciting. Yeah. All right. When you guys see him tomorrow, he's going to be it. feeling a lot different, huh? He's going to be a new man. All right, guys. Bye. Hey, if you guys are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe down below and smash the like button For on behalf of this guy over here. Turn on those notification bells and see yes. you guys tomorrow morning. See ya. Surgery, here we come. Bye. All right, you guys, good morning. Very, very special good morning. So we have woken up early. We are all dressed. We are ready to go. We are currently headed to the hospital with Mr. Lando here. It's surgery day. It is surgery day, everybody. He's a little nervous, rightfully so. No, I'm actually not. <laughs> feeling good? Hey, okay, baby, he's feeling pretty good. I think he's also really excited because his leg yeah. has been really bothering him on this trip. He's excited to feel better, huh, buddy? Yeah, and it's also because my dad gets to be in there. So he's pretty excited about me being able to go in the surgical room with him, aren't you, buddy? Mm -hmm. So the surgery is going to be about two hours long. About, about, two, hours, yeah. about two hours. Guys, we've gotten so many wonderful messages. We've gotten some videos of people wishing him luck and they're thinking of him. Tons of comments. Guys, we're going into this pretty excited, fully prepared with a ton of group support. So everybody, wish us luck. Here we go. <laughs> Mom and Dad. My dad says we're driving to the hospital right now. We're gonna do food landing. We just wanted to wish you all the best. We've both had surgery before and it's pretty cool. You close your eyes, go to sleep, and next minute you're awake in the future. It's pretty much like time travel. All right, you guys, we are in the car on the way to the hospital and we have been showing Landon videos and Marco Polos of friends and family members that have sent well wishes to him and he's putting a big smile on his face back there, huh, Land? My sister Amy sent Landon a playlist of hype songs for this morning. So we have been playing some songs, getting him all excited, yeah. taking his mind off of his worries this morning. It's gonna be so awesome. He's making a couple of key phone calls to the papas and grandmas of the family here. Yes, he is so loved. We are feeling so much love and so much support today. We are so grateful. Mom, I don't even know what it's like to see this without you. don't have to go to Cynthia. Crazy anatomy. Lando, tell them the thing that, that you said that's been making me laugh all morning. I have to wear a skirt. <laughs> we put this on and he goes, I have to wear a skirt? <laughs> I know, look, it's a dress. <laughs> We've been laughing about pretty hard this morning, huh, Land? Lennon's just impressing all the nurses over here. First, he told them, oh, my blood pressure's a little high. <laughs> She's like, well, what's normal? Uh, 120 over 80. And then she asked him what her age was, and then I'm pretty sure it was about half of a second, and he said, oh, well, you were born in 1978. And she's like, what? <laughs> Who is this guy? Is he gonna be a doctor, a mathematician? And we put it, what do you do this way? Come here. I tie it kind of tight like that, and what it does is it makes your veins pop up. And I might tap a little on you, and that, see, see how that vein's getting bigger? That's what this does. Okay, so see, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna tap it. So you're tapping it to get it to pop wake up. Wake up. Bit. It's gotta wake up and s where I can see it. Yeah, there you go. So if you want to hang your hand down here and do this, to make pump it up. Like this? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and you stinkers. What about, okay, how about this? What year was David? <laughs> Love you, Lando. Alright guys, so I got to go and 
all the way back to the surgery room where they induced him and then he fell asleep. So I wasn't able to stay and observe the surgery itself, but I was there up until he closed his eyes and uh, fell right asleep. So that's really what he was wanting more than anything is that someone to walk him back there. And the last face that he saw before he fell asleep would be, would be a familiar one. So I came back, he's in total good hands. The staff is incredible here. Mm -hmm. So sweet, so kind, so loving. He was really nervous this morning, very, very anxious about everything, and the staff just did everything they could to help him feel comfortable, the warm blanket, walking him through every step. He just really wanted to know what was going on, you know? Yeah. It's that feeling of, someone's going to put me to sleep, but I won't know what's happening. So they promised him that they would tell him exactly what was going on, and I'm just so glad he's in there, because sometimes the part before is the most stressful part. Totally. So it's like, once you're in there, the next thing you know, you're waking up and it's over with. So I'm just glad we got to that spot, and now I think the next hour and 47 minutes will feel like the longest hour and 47 minutes of our lives, mm -hmm. but at least we can do it together. Well, they send text messages as soon as the surgery's kind of begun, so we probably would get one here any second, and then we just get kind of text message updates throughout. So, yeah, I think everything should be okay. It was kind of interesting that anesthesiologist said this was the first time she's ever had a parent present during an induction. Really? Yeah. yeah. So, there we go. Lando, buddy. We people, pulled out all the stops for you, buddy. Pulled out all the stops for you this trip. Oh, it's mm -hmm. funny, I got a little emotional. I try not to... I tried not to show up when I was back there, but just seeing him just fall asleep just made me so grateful for that little guy. You're awesome, buddy, we, if you're watching this. We were actually talking on the way over here, and I wanted to listen to the song by Andy Grammer, Don't Give Up On Me. Don't listen to that song if you don't want to cry. Yeah, that's true. I put that song to a little clip of him on the airplane and, I don't on know. On Instagram. On Instagram, and it makes me cry every time I watch it. It just represents, you know, the fact that he's that little boy, up. yep, and he's had to fight so much in his life, and he'll be stronger for it, but just that view of him flying all the way to Texas to get this surgery just really symbolizes the fight he's had his whole life. If you guys have not actually seen that, it's pretty, it's a pretty cool clip, so check out our Instagram, Our Life in Holland. All right, guys, now we wait. you guys he is out of surgery the surgeon just came out here and talked to us he is such a good man i just feel so grateful that we found this surgery and found this doctor and it just sounds like everything went really well yeah we got some instructions he's gonna we'll talk maybe a little bit later in the video but yeah he's he might be uncomfortable for a little bit he's got to wear these leg immobilizers for two months when he sleeps at night in which you'll see those but he said all in all the surgery was major success the nerve blocks he said worked incredibly well yes. so Landon has something called spasticity where his brain over fires a signal to his muscle and causes tightness to so the nerve blocks you can't do it for every single muscle but specifically for his adductors they do a nerve block which blocks that signal coming from the brain to the muscle so for a year Landon will not have the spasticity in his adductors which is causing his knees to turn in which is huge huge Honestly, I'm so excited for him to feel. He's gonna feel so loose. What this feels like. Yeah. And, and I think the doctor kind of Loop. explained to us how he's going to really kind of feel unstable and it's gonna take him a little while to get used to it and to get used to how to use his legs. In fact, he actually just barely wrote him a prescription for a, a walker. walker. Yeah. He's, he, he used to walk through when he was tiny, yeah, tiny. Guys, he hasn't had a walker since he was like baby. Yeah, 18 months, two years old. But he thought that it would be a really good idea that first month when he's getting used to using his body to use that walker to take the pressure off of that hip that's starting to come out of the socket felt like it would be really great because the walker would take the pressure off of his hip so we're gonna get him a walker the surgery is done but there's so much more to come so much ahead of us and we're ready for it all right guys let's go see lando Aren't you guys? We are going back to see Mr. Lando right now. I cannot wait to see him. Greg, we both were just getting teary under our masks over there just thinking about how life-changing this could be for him. All right, so we love him already. <laughs> His first words were... <laughs> Is my hair okay? <laughs> no. Yes. He just said, we were like, what? Is your hair? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> so I have a tan. Absolutely. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's, oh, he's shivering. He's getting cold. <laughs> so part of that's probably um, as, well, as they wake up from anesthesia, yeah. too. So. Lando, good morning. What do you think of your cast? It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool? I wish they had, like, light, light blue. blue. <laughs> Dark blue is not doing it for you? Here's popsicle. Ooh, orange popsicle, here we come. Last one. 
Can I put my clothes back on? You sure can, buddy. You want to eat that popsicle first? Is it good? Yeah, it's pretty good. Good. <laughs> Do you I still have the IV in? You do still have the IV in, yeah. You think I'm funny? Must be the <laughs> anesthesia. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait for another hole to move my right arm. Another one? Another hole. What do you mean another hole in your right arm? Look, every time I have a theater of education, IV. <laughs> oh, you. the IV leaves a hole in your arm? You're gonna have another one. Oh. So you're excited about that. Are you guys gonna send me in the wheelchair or do you think I can walk right away? I'm thinking we're gonna start on the wheelchair, like a ride. It'll be like a like a ride out of here. I don't know though, maybe you could push me instead. <laughs> what hit you like crazy? <laughs> How many um, surgeries? How many surgeries did we have here today? Well, it felt like 17,000, but I think it was 43. You said, did you, did you bring my bed back to here? I didn't bring your bed back here, but the staff from the OR brought your bed in here. So I'm confused. You remember them wheeling you into the surgery room and your yeah. dad went too? Yeah. Yeah. When I started off before you guys weighed me. Yeah, so that that's called the pre-op area. Then you go to surgery, and then you come in here, and this is called the recovery room. Oh, I can't wait to walk correctly. My walking has been really bad. <laughs> You've been feeling kind of tight, huh? I don't feel looser quite yet. Not feeling it yet? Until you guys let me walk, I'll feel looser. Did you have any dreams while you were in surgery? Do. <laughs> I woke up in two seconds. In two seconds? <laughs> That's what it felt like. You did time travel, just like Adrian said. What about you? How long did it feel okay. like for you? I don't know, Mom. How long did it feel for us? It felt a little bit longer than two seconds. Well, for, for me, I'm asleep. So yeah. I asked them to put me to sleep, but they wouldn't. You ready to go back to the hotel? Yeah. Let's get out of this place. Well, I'm a little bit of pain, so we're going to get some pain medicine into him right away. Wow. Yes. Where's our wheelchair? Oh, it's coming. <laughs> Yeah. Landon, is it hurting? Uh -huh. Well, let's talk about a perfect day, huh? Yesterday was the perfect day for him to swim, and today is the perfect day for him to just chill. All right, you guys, we have made it successfully back to the hotel here in Galveston. Mr. Lando is doing a, a pretty decent job of pain management here. He's being so brave. So I think the most painful things we're finding out are these leg immobilizers. So he is required to wear these for the next 24 hours for the entire time. And then thereafter, he needs to wear them at nighttime for the next two months. His body is comfortable when his legs are bent, but when they're straightened out, which is where his tightness was, that's where the pain is. So this is a little bit uncomfortable, especially after this surgery. So we are just hanging out, watching a little TV. We've got the beautiful ocean here to kind of keep us calm, keep us excited, keep us happy. These guys are living their best life eating peanut M&Ms right, and we're rocking some, well, hey, nice t-shirt by the way, pal. Right. You were incredibly brave today, you know that? Guys, smash the like button on this video if you think this guy was incredibly brave today. He's in a lot of pain and he's hanging in there. We're trying to get on top of it. We've given him some ibuprofen and we're gonna be rotating that the rest of the night. Moscow and Sam, so M&D, and we're gonna go 
to oregano's in the Italian restaurant. So Landon is up and at it. He's actually uh, getting used to navigating this wheelchair on his own a little bit. But I think this is the first time you've actually ever used a wheelchair like on your own, right? Yeah. All right, show him your okay. skills real quick. Kid just had surgery today. I'm so happy to report that I think Lennon's pain is so much better than it was earlier. He was having a hard time hurting earlier. Anytime that we moved him in or out of the car, he was crying in pain. It was really, really sad. But I think his pain is much more under control now. He yep. seems a lot happier, a lot more comfortable. Getting a little wheelchair ride just to get him out of the room. Going a little stir crazy in there. I think tomorrow we'll be able to go out and about a little bit more, but he has to wear these leg immobilizers for the next 24 hours, which makes it a little trickier to go anywhere. Oh, you want to push the elevator button? Yeah. Can you reach it? Sorry. No. Miles' mom. <laughs> Do not trust mom with the wheelchair. guys, there are more options at this resort than there are meals for us left in a day. So we had to kind of be a little bit choosy. So we're gonna eat a little Italian tonight. However, it's such a popular spot. It's not available for another couple hours. So we thought we'd pull up a seat here poolside, snuggle up by the fire, and uh, just hang out here for a bit. Still relaxing, but able to get out of the room, get some new scenery. Beautiful out here. The ambiance is amazing. Let's have a little uh, post-surgery interview, man. Do you want to say anything to our YouTube family? So I had to wear the cows for a, a month. A whole month. How are you? Month. How are you feeling? Pretty good. Are you excited to see what it's gonna feel like when you walk? Yeah. Do you in pain at all, Leno? Not really anymore. No. No. And tomorrow, it'll still be four months, but a little bit less. It'll be 27 days. <laughs> So what has been the worst part about this and the best part? So the worst part was that I was in a lot of pain earlier. Earlier he was in a lot of pain, yeah. My favorite part, I like actually having the cast on. It's actually kind of fun. <laughs> Can you not wait to go show all your friends at school? Yeah. All right, Lando's gonna try to walk for the first time. How does it feel, Land? Do you feel so loose? You can walk as slow as you need to, buddy. How's it feel? <laughs> it feels really loose. <laughs> it feels really loose, he says. <laughs> yes. Good work, dude. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm shaking, he says. Look at you, buddy. You're doing it. You got right leg. Look at you go, dude! You gonna take a break? No, oh, um, no, not quite yet. Yes, it helps if you hold me. Is that better? Do your legs feel so good? Yeah. Good job, Lando. You're really moving now. Have you noticed immediately his right leg stays straight? Oh yeah, that's right, it's his left leg that's bent. If you guys remember, it's his right leg that would like turn in and he would walk on his toes. That's the one in the cast on that side. I know, it's kind of amazing. He says I love this. I love this. Lando, do you love it? Yeah. Should we maybe take a break? One more Hey, love you guys, you're awesome. Love you, Jerry and Britt. Hey, in all honesty, you guys, you would not believe just the night and day difference. Like his right leg lays completely flat. Uh, no kidding. Yep. Is that when wow. your dad's sitting on it or just <laughs> when it's pretty? Just had 
the most amazing dinner. So much fun tonight. We had the sweetest waiter tonight that came and brought him a piece of butter cake that said, you've got this Lando. It was such a perfect night tonight. And I just have, before we go to bed, I have to say how impressed I am with Landon. Not surprised, but the doctor said that he may or may not walk today. It just depends on him and how he's feeling. And every child is different. And Landon insisted tonight on getting up and trying to walk and it just says so much about him and his determination. Not only that, the drastic difference. If you guys saw our Instagram posts, you'll see how significant his limping was, his gait, etc. It had gotten so bad. So go check that out on Our Life in Holland on Instagram. However, if you compare that to today, when you saw him walk, completely different. I was Terry behind my mask because he's like, Mom, I feel so loose. And this is just what I dreamed of with the surgery was that he would feel something that he'd never felt before and he's already experienced and that. his right leg before was always kind of like that right and now when he lays down it just lays flat it's just it's unreal it's not turning in when he's walking he's not on his toe it's it's incredible we have so much to come we're so excited you guys thank you today's been such a very very special day i'm, I'm gonna get teary if i keep talking but for real though thank you for your kind comments your support we your support felt so much love from all of you it's just been a perfect perfect day so thank you guys and here is the champ himself Please subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you tomorrow. All right, all right. Good morning, our life in Holland family. Good morning, everybody out there. Good morning from Galveston, Texas here. Guys, we could get used to waking up to this view. It's actually quite incredible. So I am in the car early this morning, headed to go get what uh, locals call some of the best donuts they've had. So being a donut owner myself, for those that are new to the channel, Sean and I and two other partners invested in a franchise called Duck Donuts a couple years ago and have it in Utah. So anyway, we always try to go to what people, locals say, the best donut shops whenever we travel. So anyways, we're here in Galveston, Texas. Landon is doing very, very well. We'll give you guys a shot ahead as soon as I get back, but I've got orders here to go pick up Shipley Donuts. So for those that are from the Houston area, down all the way down to Galveston, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Shipley Donuts apparently is pretty popular. Guys, last day here in Galveston before we head back home. Home. Landon gets to take off his leg braces in four hours. And trust me, he is counting. In fact, if Landon was here, he'd say it would be three hours and 43 minutes, actually, is when he gets to take off his leg braces. But his recovery has been absolutely incredible, very fast, very swift. So we're going to get some breakfast in him and just kind of enjoy the rest of the day kind of relaxing. We'll probably go maybe drive around, you know, do a wheelchair ride on the on the boardwalk. He can't swim. I don't know if we mentioned that. So that's why we had a ton of swimming a couple of videos ago. He just wanted to live it up. In fact, if you guys, again, are not look, checking out our Instagram, be sure to do that. Our Life in Holland. We kind of have forgotten to do this the last, you know, probably few months, but we're going to start doing more shout outs on YouTube and Instagram. So follow us on Instagram. Be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed to our channel. And we're going to do a better job doing shout outs to all you wonderful people out there. Anyway, so he can't swim with his cast, which is a bummer, you know, because that kid loves the water. So we swam to our heart's content for like seven hours the other day. But this time we can just hang out by the fire. They've got beautiful, just like, you know, beach chairs that you can look out over the ocean and, and we'll, we'll, we'll find a way to make today great. <laughs> So we're told that these local galoches, galoches are pretty good. We might have to try those. We heard they're actually quite delicious. Hello, sir. Hi. Donuts for you. So Landon and I are out here all by ourselves, and I don't think we could ask for a better spot. Wouldn't you agree? I don't think there's a better a better view, a better spot we could be right now. So we're just hanging out. Mama's gonna hit the gym, then we're gonna switch for a bit. We're just having a good time, you guys. Today's all about Landon. All right, guys, so as we're just sitting here, enjoying this view, the question is being asked to Landon and I, really by me, whether we prefer ocean or mountain. So, let's ask Landon. Landon, do you prefer the ocean or the mountain? I would rather live by the ocean. All I 
down here, some tasty waves, and I'm fine. I don't know, I love the mountains, but man, every time I go by the ocean, it just seems like we're more of a water family. Yeah. Wouldn't you agree, buddy? So guys, we will move, you know, probably in the next year or two years, maybe. Uh, we'll probably stay in Utah, but part of me, every time we travel, feels like we should be somewhere by the ocean. So comment down below on some of your favorite ocean destination spots in the United States. Now, obviously, there's California, things like that. Real estate's just so expensive out there. But along the Gulf, things like that, it's pretty beautiful. There's a lot of towns out there that uh, don't run such a high price like California does. So comment down below if you know some really good ocean towns that are kind of in a warmer climate. All right, we've got cute little Lando Bando here. We are going to lunch at a little place called The Spot because Landon is going crazy hanging out in the hotel room. He's being a little trooper today. He's actually feeling a little bit more pain than he was this morning. He just barely stepped off of a curb for the very first time and I think the pressure on his little quad was more than he could take right then. So he was a little bit sad for a minute. But we actually read in the paperwork that walking is the very best thing he can do to help his body heal and to keep those muscles stretched that they barely just did surgery to lengthen. So he is being such a trooper, I'm so proud of him. He's doing everything that he can to get walking. He's so determined. I think that the pain's maybe a little bit more than all of us were expecting, but overall he's doing awesome. Alright you guys, we just finished up some lunch here at what the locals here call the spot. The spot, baby. It's actually called the spot, but the locals <laughs> call it the same thing. It doesn't make any sense really... actually. <laughs> hey, so just wrapped up some lunch and Landon's in a little more pain today than I think he was yesterday. I mean, <laughs> guys, as you can imagine, they go in there and they kind of make these adjustments in your muscle, kind of these little tears, and his muscles are just spasming, and that can only be so incredibly painful. I can't even imagine how painful that is. And I think that as his body's starting to recover and some of the maybe the pain meds were wearing off the spasms are really starting to get to him so today he's experiencing a little bit more pain than i think that we were all anticipating he's also trying to be active really soon which they're saying is a really good thing but i think it's also causing him to be in more pain because he's using his muscles so anyway we decided to just come out here onto the kind of the boardwalk area if you will it's just the sidewalk along the beach he's in the wheelchair now lando say what's up a little trooper. Yep, he's hanging in there, but we thought we'll just give him a little bit of chain of scenery, get him out moving around. He does want to try to walk here in the next little bit, which we want to show you guys that. So guys, this place is pretty cool though. They got this little boardwalk over here. It's called Pleasure Pier. Now, obviously on any given day, you would find us at Pleasure Pier. However, given the circumstances, we are not currently on Pleasure Pier. We're on Pleasure Sidewalk right now. <laughs> hanging out. But the surroundings are beautiful. We're loving it over here. Anyway, so yeah, they got, there it is, Pleasure Pier. And of course, in true Lindsay fashion, we are stopping to do pictures regardless of the situation or circumstances. We have to document. We always want to remember this, no matter what. Apparently, YouTube videos aren't enough, so we're going to do pictures. You guys, we have made our way back to the hotel over here and we're enjoying our favorite spot in the whole hotel. Quite a beautiful view. Again, you guys have seen a lot of just chillaxing today, which is good. Yeah, we got to go on a little walk there. We got some cool drone footage as you guys saw. But right we're now, we're just listening to the ocean waves crash into the shore because this is something we don't get to see very often. The ocean is just the best. 
for all of you that live by the ocean, we're, we're jelly. jealous. We're jelly. Fernando, come over, pop your head over here. Tell everyone how you doing. I'm honestly not doing very good. Having a harder day today, aren't you? This little guy over here has been a major trooper today. It's only gonna get better from here, huh? You know, he did just say that he is excited to go back home to see his siblings and to get back under his own bed. Lindsay and I, on the other hand, said we actually really love being out here with him. It's been a ton of fun. It's been really awesome. But be sure to check out our Instagram because we are also posting stories about our kids back at home who are having a lot of fun. Yeah, we keep teasing that our kids are having so much fun that they're not gonna wanna come home. It's quite a possibility, <laughs> I was feeling so bad leaving them, but I think they haven't skipped a beat since I've been gone. Nope. <laughs> Lando. I came to visit you. How are you feeling? Do you remember me or no? You knew all about Tampa Bay. Here you go. Who's this for? Hey, <laughs> here. I'll take one of those. So tell me what happened. How are you feeling? You feeling all right? You remember the last time she saw you? Uh, you don't remember me? You better remember me. We talked about. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> You saw my name tag, the liar, you little cheater. Oh, she said, no, he could he, he No, I was going to say, we talked about Tampa. <laughs> he knows, I know smart. He couldn't see that. How you feeling he today? All right, you guys, Landon has had a wish ever since we got here that he wanted to go up to the 16th floor. It's the top floor, but it is a penthouse floor. So we've had to uh, be a little creative in trying to figure out how to get up here. How'd you figure it out? Honestly, I just pushed the button. Oh. So, what can I say? so we are up here on the 16th floor. Oh, they have chocolates and waters. This is the fancy floor up here. We told them that floor 14 looks about the same as floor 16, but you know what? Like I said, minus whatever. Minus the chocolates, Mama. Minus the, minus chocolates. the chocolates. Okay, okay, you've got a point. And we're 20 feet higher right now. If you look. Yeah, we now. are. And you know what? Like I said, Landon gets what he wants on this trip. Well, so wants Landon wants 16th floor. Landon gets the 16th floor. All right, Lando, you're gonna take a couple steps. See how it feels. It's definitely feeling more pain today than yesterday. Yeah, big steps. If you can. Look at Whoa, you, dude. You oh my left goodness. Left. Look at you go, land. Oh my goodness. You look so good. How does it feel? A Does it feel a little painful? Look at you, dude. Looking so good, oh, Land. Put my arm in it just in case. You are such a trooper. All right, you guys, we are packing up the room. We are heading out early tomorrow morning. The doctor told us that we could leave on the third day after surgery. So we're heading home back to the kids. Landon is excited to get back to watch the Super Bowl. Today, I think Landon's been in a little bit more pain than any of us expected, and it's been hard to see him be a little bit down about it. And he's sound asleep right now. He is sound asleep right now. I do think he's still just recovering from surgery in general. He's super tired, and I think that every single day will get better. It's tough for a 10-year-old to understand that this is just temporary and that it will be worth it in the long run, but we are gonna get home and get him into physical therapy, hoping that the pain lessens a little bit every single day, and I talked about this in past videos, but the healing process for Landon is going to come over time through physical therapy and stretching. But it will be like a total transformation, it really will be. Three to six months from now, the change will be dramatic very dramatic yeah. so we're gonna try to be patient and try to help him be patient through the process but thank you so much for all of the love and support it has been overwhelming it really has been I mean the comments so many direct messages on Instagram so many messages. emails yeah. so many comments on YouTube I and mean, just the people here have been so kind to us so kind yeah Honestly, we I feel like we have friends here at the hotel. <laughs> we went to the same place for dinner as we did last night Twice. because it was just so easy and we didn't want to make him get in and out of the car a million times and of course landed in tree landed fashion made a friend. Oh, we everybody recognized us. In fact, they yeah. tried to get us in the table sooner. They were just so treating us like royalty. Yeah. yeah very so sweet we're kind of yeah. sad to leave. You guys, thank you for being a part of this experience. Seriously, it was awesome to be able to share it with you guys and just to be able to see the love that came in from it. So thank you for being a part of these last few days. If you guys are new to our channel, 
channel, be sure to subscribe as always. And guys, I think for sure, continue to smash that like button for these, these couple of videos here for Mr. Lando. He's a fighter. So thank you guys for your support and love towards him and to our family. Speaking of him being oh, a yes. fighter, if you haven't seen our reel on Instagram, oh, yeah. it kind of shows Lando from the beginning and it will melt your heart. So go check that out. Go check that out on Instagram at Our Life in Holland. But guys, we are heading back tomorrow. So we're excited to see the kids and they're excited to see you. See you guys tomorrow. to get back home. We got up early this morning, headed to the airport, dropped off our rental car, and we're on our way. Kids are, uh, I don't know how excited the kids are actually to see us. <laughs> we are excited to see them. <laughs> They have been so loved and so spoiled while we were gone. We could not be more grateful for our sweet friends. They drove Turin over an hour away yesterday to go to one of his big soccer games. And it meant the world to us because it's a very, very big soccer game for him. It's their very first ECNL game. And I hated that we were missing it. So, so sweet of them to go up there and support him. Took Ashton up there. They actually took them all in this big sprinter van and made kind of a party of it. Party bus. But they've been taking him to the Nickelcade. They've had pizza parties, hot tub parties. They've been playing soccer. They have truly been just spoiling our kids and we are so grateful for our amazing friends that have just honestly made this so much less stressful for us by just making sure that our kids were so well taken care of so that we could focus on what was going on here. Right, everybody, you ready to go home? Yeah, I'm ready to go home. Let's do this. It feels so good to be back home. I was just telling Justin how beautiful our mountains are and every time I leave and come back, I re-appreciate how gorgeous it is where we live. Which is funny because we were having this conversation the other day with you guys uh, when I and I were just chilling on the pool chairs about whether we preferred beach or mountains. Tough choice. And I said I feel like we have salt water in our bloods and I would kind of prefer the ocean. However, every time we pull into this place, I'm like, wow, these mountains are pretty beautiful. Snow-capped mountains are quite gorgeous. Tough to beat, tough to beat. We are so excited to see our kids. We just pulled up, we're gonna go inside. We're gonna take Landon with us because we heard that everybody inside might be up to something. Lando, are you so excited to show Turin and Ashton and Ava all your cool battle scars? What a tough boy you are. Good job, dude. Hello. Oh my gosh, you guys are so cute. <laughs> oh my god. Hello. Put your head in there and grab. There's two things in there. One. Whoa, what what this? are oh, you God. so kidding me? Signed by Matt Gay, who's the kicker. Dude, no. that's a pro football player. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> gosh, look, he can't wipe the smile off his yeah, face right a now. signature from a professional football player. My uncle. Hold on, hold on, he's got a little note for you, ready? No way. Hold on, here's a shirt. Oh. He wrote a little message to you. My gosh. It says, to Lando. Stay strong, bud. My next field goal. For you. <laughs> 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 Dude, this is a pro football player. It's a pro football player. 
So dude, you know what you should do here? You should go ahead and frame this. You can wear it if you want, but I wouldn't wear it. I'd leave that in yeah. your room, hung up. Did yeah, anyone read it to you since dad started crying? <laughs> <laughs> to Landon, stay strong, bud. My next field goal is for you, Matt Gay. Are you kidding me? We're definitely me? watching that game. Is that the coolest thing Little ever? Bro, that is pretty stinking cool, dude. If you guys knew what a huge fan he is. Oh, that's why we were I got that a lot All right, you guys. Yes, I'm in the car again. We have dropped all the kids off at the home. So yeah, we've had the camera off for the last little bit. Enjoying the Super Bowl as a family. That's all little little Lando wanted to do is watch the Super Bowl. In fact, the second that it started, he's like, Dad, we gotta turn the Super Bowl on. We weren't quite home just yet. So we watched the entire Super Bowl, had a good old time. He is nestled in bed, feeling a little bit better. I mean, if I'm being honest, he's still in a ton of pain. It's just his muscles are just really, really sore. So any type of like weight he puts on, it just it's really painful for him. However, I've waited clear till the end of the day to pick up Miss Annabelle. And so I thought I'd bring you guys along with me and kind of close out today's vlog. It's really gonna be back home though. It's gonna be back, have him in the comfort of his own bed and kind of just get back into regular life a little bit. I think he needs that more than anything. He will not be going to school for the next week for sure, just because he just can't handle it. So. Anyway, let's pick up our Miss Annabelle, the final missing piece of our family, and then we are fully reunited again. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hi there. <laughs> oh my goodness, she's excited. Yeah. Hello, hello. Hi, hi honey. Hi there. Hi there. Hi. <laughs> So cute. You guys, this dog, so we have the best dog sitter truly in the world. She's amazing. She'll send full on like portrait mode pictures of Annabelle with these other dogs and it's the cutest thing in the world. I think all of our kids, including our dog, had a party while we were gone. But she is the best, honestly, dog sitter. So every time we go to drop her off, however, she's very excited to be there. But if we're walking away from the house, she immediately kind of runs back towards us. She's very loyal, which is I love about Golden Retrievers. But as soon as she's there, she has a blast. So anyway, she's in the car with me now. Hey. Hi there. You guys, thank you so much for being a part of the last few days. Absolutely incredible. What a wonderful chapter of our life here for the Bingham family that we are so thrilled to share with each and every one of you. Your kindness, your support has been overwhelming. Guys, if you're not following us on Instagram, be sure to do so. We're gonna start doing shout outs again on Instagram as well on YouTube. So be sure to subscribe if you are not. Turn on those notification bells, you guys. Many more great uh, things to come as you watch this transformation of land and learning to walk uh, again. All right, we'll see you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to our life in Holland. We are back home, and it feels so good to be home. Landon was so happy to get home yesterday and sleep in his own bed and see his brothers and his sister. It was so sweet to get home yesterday to a big welcome home sign, a bunch of welcome home letters, and his brothers and sister and friends yelling surprise, giving him hugs, and then the most thoughtful gift from Chris and Emily, the shirt, the hat, with the personalized autograph from their family member who is a professional athlete, a kicker for the Rams, with a little message for Landon dedicating his next field goal to him coolest thing. It made Justin emotional. I was laughing with Emily. I said, when I come into situations like that, I just have to turn my emotions off or I am a mess. And I'm just crying and I can't stop. No! So sometimes I don't cry in those situations because I know that once I lose it, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> but it just honestly meant the world. The outpouring of love that we have received from so many people around us. Someone offered to bring dinner today. Someone from school brought Landon a basket today. We've received so many gifts before we left. So many messages of concern and love and cheerleading from all of you. It has truly meant the world and we could not thank you guys enough. Landon is home from school this week. He was home last week as well. Of all years to miss two weeks of school, this is one year that's a little bit easier because they have it all set up for those who are doing school at home. So really grateful for that. That makes it a lot easier. We haven't really done a lot of school yet. It has been so busy with everything going on that it just hasn't been on the top of the priority list. But we will get to it. We will make it up. Just hasn't happened yet. I am happy to report that Landon is the most back to himself today. I am finally seeing him back to himself, smiling more. Day two and day three were pretty rough. 
definitely more pain than he or I were expecting him to be in muscle spasms, tough time moving around, and honestly, Lennon was just feeling kind of down. So it makes my heart so happy to see his smile back and see him feeling much more like himself today. Another big thing that happened today is we took off all of his band-aids, all eight of them, and checked out all of his little pokes. He doesn't have any stitches. They didn't do any incisions, but he has little poke marks in those spots. And so we kind of got to see what those looked like up close and personal. He was super brave as the band-aids come off I you know I can feel one of my pokes you can feel it now sometimes the band-aid coming off is the worst part oh uh, no thanks he talked to grandma on the phone she distracted him while he got all of his band-aids taken off and he's so happy to have those off but we are heading to physical therapy the doctor suggested getting him moving right away the faster that he can get walking and get into physical therapy the better that this surgery will be a success so we're getting him in today he's not going to be doing anything crazy mostly just kind of starting those stretches to maintain his range of motion kind of getting some measurements seeing where he's at how he's feeling so we're headed to his very first session of physical therapy post-surgery <laughs> Landon and I are home and the whole family is home. Justin just got home from work. All the kids are home and it feels so good to all be together. It feels like we haven't been all together, all of us, for so long. It has been quite the crazy day today, just taking care of Landon, taking off his bandages, calling a million people, talking to everybody post-surgery. And my sweet friend and neighbor texted me today out of the blue and said, I wanna bring you dinner tonight. And it was kind of one of those things where I was like, I didn't even really realize how much I needed it until that moment. And I was like, oh my goodness, she texted me at the perfect time and I really needed it today. So she's the sweetest ever. She brought us over something that we've never tried before. It looks so good. It's called the Crest Club. It's a little homemade pot pie. And then in here, this is the part that Justin is the most excited about. Little Little mini pies. This one's tres leches and this one is raspberry cheesecakes. We are very excited about these. There's little mini pies. And then she made this homemade salad. Look how delicious this looks. I've said this a million times, but we have just been so blown away by the kindness that we have been surrounded by. And this is just one more thing to add to that list. Okay, so while we were gone, we had a couple of Lennon's friends offer to bring something over. One of them in particular we've even talked about. If you guys have not seen his friend birthday party, you'll see a lot of Lando's friends in that video. But one of them in particular brought something very sweet for Lando. We weren't here, so he said he would drop it off when we got back home. And, well, he dropped it off. We're gonna show Lando what it is, because he's not seen it yet. Hey. This is from your friend? Lincoln! Lincoln, look what he brought you, dude. What is this? Dude, so he brought, in here, my friend, you've got a Nerf ball. Yeah. Huh? You've got glitter putty. Dude, you got a lot of squishy stuff. A lot of, more putty. Ooh, party cake Whoa, peeps. Those are my favorite. Dude, these are those cool little sticky men that you throw against the wall and they crawl. Yeah. Ooh, Sour Patch Kids, our fit. And <gasps> paper football. Oh, that's Dude, I love this game. Paper football, I've yeah. played that. Okay, what do you say to Lincoln? Thanks you, Lincoln. All right, you guys, we have gathered the kids here because they have not really had a chance to talk to Landon about his surgery, so we thought it'd be kind of fun tonight to do a little Q&A with the kiddos here to their brother Landon, asking any question they want about the surgery. Is that okay with you, Lando? Okay, so let's start with little Miss Peanut here. Ava, ask Lando anything you want about his surgery. Uh, how long was surgery? It was two hours. It's two hours long, can you believe that? Uh, two full hours. Wow, what if it were two hours? Not full. Not full hours, but to heck, two f half hours? Yeah, two That would make one hour. Yeah, one hour. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Turbo, your turn. All right. Any 
Q&A here for Mr. Lando about his surgery. Did you feel anything during the surgery? Nope. Nothing? Nothing. So he was asleep during the whole thing. Didn't they like poke you? Yeah. And you didn't feel any of it? I mean, I filled the IV when they like put a needle in me. Okay, so Ashley, your turn. So what, what was the difference between when you like, before the surgery and after the surgery? How, what was the difference? Like how did, like, you how did he feel? Yeah. Okay, that's actually I a really good question. I felt a lot more normal and now I can't even walk. <laughs> so you're saying before the surgery you felt more normal than you feel now? Yeah. It's probably because he's not used to his muscles being like this. Mm-hmm. The hope is that he'll feel way better eventually, but right now I think he is feeling super weird, huh? Yeah. Things sure. feel, feel super different, don't they, Land? Yeah. Anything else, Ava, you want to ask your brother about a surgery? Um, was it boring? <laughs> <laughs> was it boring? I actually did cry. I actually didn't like it. <laughs> Okay, that was kind of like boring. Lando was super stressed right before surgery, super nervous, he was crying, just because getting surgery is scary. It's so scary for yeah. sure. Yeah. Having to like fall asleep and stuff. He was so brave. We were so, so proud of him. Did Lando get to meet the doctor? Oh yeah. Was he nice? Yeah. Everyone was pretty nice, huh? I've got another question for him. Yes. What did he do before the surgery? Like, what did he do? Uh, like on Thursday? So don't, you mean right, but like on Friday before they Friday, started? Yeah, yeah. So they gave you the IV. Yeah, and then they picked a cast color. So Landon asked every nurse how old they were. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. And then you told know? them their birth year within half I of a second. You know, can you tell I me some of the nurses' names and their birthdays? Mm -hmm. I have Kay. a... Give me two of them. 1980 and 78. Yep, do you remember their names? <laughs> Jennifer, I 1980. Don't, Trish, then she was 40. 40. Yeah. The staff was Stacy. All right, Ava, um, you go. Um, what color cast did, um, what color cast did they, did they have? Like what options? Ooh, what options yeah. did they have? Black, blue. blue Mostly the colors of the rainbow, blue, right? Blue, red, yellow, orange, green, green, pink. Any other good questions? Oh, I have one. Did they bring you any food while you were on the bed? On like the oh, bed? yeah, the girl did. What'd she bring you? Uh, they brought me a Sprite. And? Oh. Orange popsicle. Was there a TV? Did you watch any shows? No. All right, Ava, what was your question? Um, was the bed comfortable? Was the bed comfortable? Yes. Yes, okay. All right, guys, hey, thank you for hanging out with our family. We are finally reunited. The entire crew is here. Miss Ava May, Mr. Ashton, Landon, Mr. Ava, Turin, and Mom, and, and Miss Annabelle down there and somewhere. And Mrs. Ava. Where's Annabelle? There she is right there. Mrs. Ava. So, guys, welcome to Our Life in Holland. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe down below. Turn on those notification bells. And see you tomorrow. See you see tomorrow. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Our Life in Holland. Guys, very, 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 very special day today. Landon is going back to school for the first time since surgery. <laughs> Hi. And Hi. he could not be more excited. He has been begging us. Mom, Dad, can I please go back to school? <laughs> he is so excited to go back to school, see his friends, see his teachers, and we just wanted to make sure that he was walking well enough, that he would be safe while he's at school, and we are feeling like he's, he's ready. ready. He's ready. We're, I don't know if we're ready. We've enjoyed him being at home. <laughs> I think he is ready, however, to be, to be back at school. No, that's the honest truth, is that I've loved having him here, but he's so social. He loves his friends. He loves his teachers. You know Landon. If we are at a restaurant, he's asking the server, you know, when he was born and what his whole life history is. And so he loves to interact with other people, and he's just missed being there. Buddy, are you ready to go back to school? Yes. Let's do this. What's making this a little bit of a unique day to send Landon back to school is that we are currently getting so much snow. It is coming down so heavily and it's so beautiful. I know that there's parts of the US right now 
that are receiving so much snow, feet and feet and feet of snow. I've heard that the Midwest is getting so much snow. I know Texas is having some weather that is unheard of there and that there's so much going on over there. We are so praying for you guys in Texas. But what makes this a little bit trickier for us this morning is that Landon cannot get his cast wet. So I am taking him a few minutes after carpool, even though that makes him late, so that I can pull up and drop him right at the curb and then I'll go park and then I'll go help him in because it is so important that he doesn't get his cast wet. The nurse told me that the doctor in Texas sets it a very specific way and that if his cast needs to be replaced, that it would be best if we came back to Texas. So we're doing everything we can to not get that cast wet. I'm gonna go inside and talk to Landon's teacher and let her know that he cannot go outside for recess right now. Once the weather clears up and it's a little bit drier outside, then he probably could, but safety-wise for not getting run into by kids running full speed, but also just not getting his cast wet, we have made a decision that he is going to do inside recess for now. And also for safety, I'm going to ask that she sends him a ahead of the class when they are going somewhere so that he avoids huge crowds in the hallway. Ooh, it is snowy out here. All right, Lando, try to lift up your feet so you don't get snow in your cast. Okay, we'll dump it out. It's okay. Just get to the dry part and we'll dump it out. I have just been catching up on what is going on around the country. I have a friend in Chicago, Illinois, who is unburying her car. You literally could not see that the car was there because it was completely covered in snow. I know Mana and Papa Bingham said that they have been getting non-stop snow for a long time. They said it just doesn't stop. But the craziest weather I'm hearing about is in Texas. The weather they are having there is un heard of. Negative two degrees. I'm not sure that those kind of temperatures have ever hit Texas in all of history. They are losing power. They are losing heat. They have pipes that are freezing, so they are losing their water. They can't go anywhere because the roads are covered in ice and they aren't prepared for this. They don't have plows. So everyone is hunkered down in a house with no heat, no water, and no electricity with these freezing cold temperatures that a place like Texas just isn't prepared for. So if you are watching this and you are from Texas, we are thinking of you, we are praying for you. This Arctic blast is crazy. As you guys know, today Landon went back to school for the very first time, but I had to pick him up just a little bit early. So we eased him into it. He did almost a full day today because he has two appointments today. He does physical therapy every single day, but before that we are going to head to the orthotist to pick up his swash brace. We talked about this a couple weeks ago. This is something we've been working on for a while. It's a little brace that he wears that helps him to keep his knees apart. He has the tendency to push his knees together to stand up or to turn his knees in when he's walking and this brace will help him not to do that, especially now that he's had this surgery and his muscles are loose. This is only going to help him in the recovery process as he works to train his body and his legs to walk in a way that is much better for his body long term. All right, I just picked up Lando. We put his walker in the trunk. We got him in the car and I'm dying to hear exactly how today went, his first day back to school. So Lando, tell us everything. It was so much fun. My teachers were all excited to see me and my friends were. Like they were like, Landon, Landon. That and, is so awesome. And one of my teachers was like, Landon, we missed you. We missed you. Welcome back. Oh my gosh. Welcome me. That is so <laughs> awesome. This boy over here has been dying to go back to school, begging to go back to school. He is so social. He loves his friends. He loves all of his teachers. And I think being home for two weeks has not been his favorite thing. Mm -hmm. I think mostly he was getting sick of lunches at home. Sandwiches. Lunches at school are a little more interesting. 
<laughs> yep, in fact, I had Taco Bell today. <laughs> you think I'm joking about lunches, but he gets some pretty fun lunches at school. They don't have a cafeteria at his school, so they bring in lunch from different places every single day, and the kids love it. For me, I would rather them have a cafeteria because then they could have a vegetable and a fruit, and it would be a little more balanced, but they love it. Tuesdays are Taco Tuesdays from Taco Bell. Wednesday's pizza, Thursday's chicken nuggets from McDonald's. Whoa. Is that not what kids' dreams are made of right there? So yesterday when I was debating over whether to send him back or not, he said, Mom, if I don't go back to school, can we at least go pick up my lunch? <laughs> This is the first month in a while that they've gotten school lunch and he just so happened to be missing a couple of weeks. So and finally I'm back! But finally he's back! And so happy about it. They do all sorts of orthotic races here at this place and I think over here is where they have people practice walking. It is also really great for ballerinas. You are a ballerina. Beautiful. Done with appointment one, we just finished up with the orthotist. The appointment went awesome. Landon is fitted for his swash brace and walking amazing in it. It is so great. He was saying that when he sits, now that he won't have his knees in, he has a wider base, he'll be so much more stable. He can't be knocked over like this. When he goes to stand up, he won't use his knees to stand up. It's going to be so great for Landon. But one thing we learned that made me even more excited and even more hopeful is that he puts a lot of adults in a hip abduction brace, which is very similar to what he is wearing, to help their hip go back into the socket. So he uses this for a lot of adults that have dislocated hips. So as you guys know, pre-surgery, Landon got an x-ray that showed that his left hip was 40% out of the socket. This surgery that we got was no guarantee. The doctor was very, the surgeon was very clear that this was no guarantee that it would do anything to put his hip back into the socket. But I've always held on to hope because we have heard success stories from other kids with cerebral palsy that have gotten this surgery that have had success getting their hip to go back. So combination of surgery plus this brace, I think it's going to be such a good thing for Landon and we are really hoping that this is going to help his hip. I was pleasantly surprised at how sleek the brace was. It's very thin, very comfortable. I don't think that Landon is going to be bothered by it, but we are going to work up to it. He said do one hour the first day, two hours the second day, and talk to the physical therapist to see what he recommends as far as how much he should be in it. So that's where we're headed next, to the physical therapist. We're gonna do some stretching, some strengthening, and probably try out this new swash brace. We just finished up at physical therapy. Lando is a trooper. He had a full day at school today, two appointments. This boy must be exhausted, but he just keeps on going in true Lando style. Cute little Ava has been a trooper all day. She's always so sweet and so patient to just come along for the ride. Today in physical therapy, Landon was working on lifting up his feet when he's walking and standing up straighter. I am just amazed at every single day. He is so much stronger. He's moving forward, doing things he hasn't been able to do for a really long time. 
I can't even tell you how happy it makes my heart to see him doing so well. He had reached the lowest point he's ever reached in his entire life right before surgery. So it just makes this all the sweeter. So proud of him. We are gonna go home, get him some dinner and a little bit of relaxing for the rest of the night. Thank you so much for watching today's video. We love you guys. Thank you for spending a day in the life of our life in Holland. Smash the like button for Lando today and we will see you tomorrow. Hello everybody, welcome back to Our Life in Holland. We are the Bingham family. If you are new here, welcome to our channel. A lot of you have been asking, why is your name called Our Life in Holland? You don't live in Holland, you live in Utah. You are correct. It is actually not based on where we live, but based on the meaning behind our channel. It comes from a poem called Holland that we received when our twins were babies. You can get more on that story by checking out our video called Our Story. We will put the link above. But basically the idea is embracing wherever life takes you, even if it is a path that you did not expect to be on. So one of the beautiful parts about being in Holland is that we got our beautiful twins, Ashton and Landon, and Landon has something called cerebral palsy. Now our journey with Landon has been an incredible one because for any of you who are watching that know somebody with cerebral palsy, they are absolute warriors and we have been so blessed to be on this journey with him. Some of you have been following along since he was tiny tiny. As you know, Justin's brother Brandon has a YouTube channel and he would video every year when we did a run to walk. The run to walk is a race that his physical therapy place does every single year where all of the kids and their families get to do a one mile walk. Now that looks different for each and every one of those kids. When Landon started off doing that walk, he did it with the cutest little walker. He was the most adorable little toddler. Weren't you, Lando? Yep. <laughs> now, as I've mentioned, Landon is a warrior and he has had his ups and he has had his downs and he continues to put one foot in front of the other. But this year was particularly unique. This summer, I would say that he was doing the best that he's done in a really long time and we were feeling so grateful. Like I mentioned, he does so much physical therapy and he works so hard and then life took a bit of a turn an unexpected turn. Landon had one of the biggest growth spurts that he's ever had. He grew a ton in a short amount of time and children with cerebral palsy have a really hard time with growth spurts. Their muscles are not able to keep up with their bone growth and they get really tight. And then they start to change the way that they walk to compensate for that tightness. And then their gait changes and then that starts to affect their joints. So Landon's knee started to hurt him. His hips started to hurt him. He went from running miles in the neighborhood to suddenly feeling pain walking across the room. And it was really hard to watch because Landon is an incredible little boy and each and every member of our family would do pretty much anything for him. So to watch him be in pain and not be able to do the things that he normally enjoys was really hard. We did everything that we knew to do. We got him into physical therapy and we stretched him more than we usually do. And we gave him collagen and all sorts of supplements in hopes to try to help him. And nothing seemed to be enough. Then we learned that his hip was starting to dislocate and we started to feel really discouraged. Now sometimes it's in the toughest moments where the sun starts to peek through because we learned about this incredible surgery that's only done by two surgeons in the entire country. I think there's only three or four surgeons in the entire world that do this specialized non-invasive surgery that seemed to come at the time that we needed it the very most. So beginning of February, Landon received a surgery where they went in and did little micro tears in the fascia surrounding the muscles in nine different places. Lando, nine. Yep, nine. Nine different places. So if you haven't seen our surgery videos, you have to go back and watch. You can see how dramatic it had gotten. There's a video where Landon's walking on the beach and you can just tell how much pain he was walking. Now he has spent the last two and a half weeks getting a little stronger every single day as his body has healed from this surgery. He is starting to do bigger things in physical therapy. I've heard, is it true that you've started the treadmill already and the leg press? I've heard that he's doing big things at physical therapy, so I'm so excited to take you guys along with us to see how Landon is doing now. 
But once again, if you are new here, we are the Bingham family and this is our life in Holland. how good he looks. He looks so tall to me all of a sudden too. I just had to walk away for a second. I knew that this moment would come, but I don't think I realized it would happen this fast. And I was just watching him walk on the treadmill and I've never seen him walk like that in my entire life. As a mom, I've just dreamed of him being able to walk like that, pain-free and with such a beautiful gait. And it just really took me by surprise today watching him on the treadmill and all of a sudden this feeling just came over me and I just started to cry and had to kind of walk away because he won't understand that I'm crying tears of joy, but wow. My heart is bursting <laughs> with gratitude right now. Guys, we switched back because <laughs> I was just too dang small. I think we're break, breaking the weight limit here. All right, you guys, we pulled a little bit of an audible here as we drove towards the gas station. Realized we also had the benefit of swig over here. So Ashley called an audible. We're getting a little swig and then we're gonna take it home to Mr. Lando too because he wanted to come tonight, but because he cannot jump on this scooter because of his cast, we thought we could at least bring him home a little treat. So uh, two dirt ball cookies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Lando, a dirt ball, my friend. Yes, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, you guys, we just made it back home and our hands are literally shaking, freezing cold. Next time, we're taking gloves. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to our life in Holland. I have a little bit of a case of the Mondays today. You know how Mondays can be sometimes. I woke up this morning to a broken phone. <laughs> My phone looks like this. <laughs> it looks like it's trying to turn on, but it won't turn off and it never gets past the screen and trying to turn on. I believe this is an iPhone 11. 10 Pro Max. 10, 11, is it 11? It's, it's an 11 Pro Max. Thank you to Landon. <laughs> because <laughs> I wasn't sure which one this was. The 11 has three cameras. The 11 has three cameras. Thank you, Landon, for confirming that. So this is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I like the bigger screen. Anyway, it has been a little bit slow lately. It hasn't been processing things very quickly. I actually did a factory reset on my phone a couple of months ago, and this is where we're at today. I have felt completely out of sorts today with no phone, no calendar, no ability to call anyone, no text messages. I do have my Apple Watch, but 
it's now dead, so I don't have that either. Turin after school gave me his phone to use so I at least can get a hold of people now. But I am headed in. Thankfully, I have insurance on my phone, so I'm going to see if I can get it fixed. I'm hoping that it's not going to be a week long ordeal without a phone, but maybe it'll be good. A little technology free week. But first, we are going to get Landon to physical therapy. He hasn't been for a few days because he had the yucky stomach flu at the end of last week. What's that? It was bad. It was so bad. But thankfully, it passed very quickly. Next day, he was feeling great. So here we are, Monday, back to physical therapy, back to doing some awesome stuff. You want me to stay controlled so this hip doesn't go over. Ready? Lift that leg up. Good. Okay, now try this one. There. <laughs> Alright. So I'm just going to use this walker just for you to hold on to. Okay, go up and hold it. I want you to hold it on that right. Good. Now this time when you do it on the right, I want you to try to do it with this hand off. Hold it. Hold it. How tall as you can do. Okay, let's try putting your feet as close together as you can get. See how close you can get them? Stand tall. So I really want you to push on this leg. Push that leg straight. Hold it. Keep that knee right there. Don't let it bend. Good job. So let's bring this leg out. Okay, I want you to make your weight equal. Same weight on this side as on this side. Just stand straight. Good. So really, I want you to shift your weight. Put weight in that right leg. Try to look forward, look up. And I'm gonna bring this leg just a little bit in closer. I'm gonna challenge you a little more. Can you shift your weight backwards? Push back, there you go. See if you can balance right there. That's a hard one, huh? Does it make you feel like you fall backwards? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's try They took my cell phone back there. They said it would take about 15 minutes to try to reset the entire phone. I'm leaving it up to the experts this time. They said if they cannot get it reset, then we just have to turn it into Apple Care and they will completely replace my phone. I thought about just upgrading my phone because I'm due for an early upgrade, but because my phone isn't working, I can't upgrade. Unless I want to pay $500, which I don't. So I'm going this route first, trying to get it fixed. Hoping it's not going to be super expensive. Had a little bit of trouble with this phone. It seems to be a bit of a lemon. Unacceptable! I have actually been with Sprint since I got a cell phone back when I was 17 years old. Yes, I did not have a cell phone until I was in college. <laughs> that ages me a little bit. But Sprint and T-Mobile just merged. So now I apparently am with T-Mobile. Okay, I have good news and then I have some more good news. That was the most successful trip to the phone store ever. They were so fast, so helpful, so efficient. My phone is currently working. It is definitely not in good shape. And he told me that because I have insurance, I also have Apple Care. So for a small deductible, I can get a brand new phone. So I'm going to do that next. But for now, I at least have a working phone right now. I am so happy. But he stopped us on the way out the door to let us know that because we have been with Sprint for so long, we are eligible for a free extra line. Completely free for life. Wow. Thanks. How crazy is that? A free line. He just gave us a free line. He even said, I just want you to see the computer. I'm not trying to pull any sales tactics on you. It's just a free line. <laughs> so we now have a home line for the kids. We just have to figure out a cell phone that we can connect to the line once one of our phones are paid off or we upgrade or something. But we now have a home phone. So excited about that. Justin doesn't even know because I haven't reset everything on my phone yet. But in addition to that, he let me know that if he changes our SIM cards out to T-Mobile SIM cards, that we will have way better service. Now I have to tell you, we have terrible service where we live. Every time that we go to the front of our neighborhood, we drop the call without fail. So I am so excited. Better service, my phone is working, I got a free line. <laughs> All right, I just got home and as you can see, 
Justin in turn made it home from Denver. Safely and in one piece, everybody. Guess what though, I have a present for both of you. Okay, you ready for this? Please say hold this up. it is a hundred million dollars. Okay. Turin, here's your phone back with better service, T-Mobile Towers. Wait, snap. Sweet. And I have a SIM card for you. What is it? So I gave them your phone and then you get this gift card instead. So I can call with this? Yes. Like, I, so he said that this, since your phone is kind of old, <laughs> that this like gift card is actually work, gonna work way better. How do you dial on it? Um, so this little chip right here, it's a smart chip. Mm-hmm. And you just speak to it. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hold on, I think I have to I think I have to activate it. <laughs> We're such nerds. <laughs> Alright, I am a professional here, so be prepared to be amazed. Except that this is not. It's yeah, easy, twist it. As easy as it was in the store. No, you're just supposed to push it. The See, one? I told you the gift card was worth more. <laughs> All right, my try. There we go. That one is now garbage. New one, please. Why does that not look the same? That's a very different size. That's no, you have to pop it all the way out. Woo! Nice, Daddy. What? Magic. Oh. Turn has four bars. So do you, four bars. Okay, so many of you guys have been asking about Landon's nighttime routine and what some of the things are that we do in order to get him ready for bed. So since he's had his surgery, he has to wear these things called leg immobilizers. So we're gonna show you these are here real quick. Okay, so these were given to him after his surgery specifically for his hamstrings because when we sleep, we like to bend our knees and that shortens our hamstrings. So this keeps his legs straight for eight hours at night, which helps keeps his hamstrings lengthened, which is what they did in the surgery. So this is a great post-surgery thing, but I was just talking to his physical therapist today and he was talking about how through his entire growing years, we want to keep his hamstrings straight at night, but also his gastroc, his calf and ankle, because another thing we do when we're sleeping is we sleep with our toes pointed, which then shortens this muscle. So. He is going to be getting a new night splint. It's super cool, newer technology, and it's going to keep both muscles straight in a way that is a little bit more comfortable. The current night splint that he has holds him really stiff. This one allows him a little bit more flexibility so it's more comfortable and you can keep pushing the pressure tighter and tighter to hopefully gain range of motion. So that's coming soon. Another cool little device for Lando. Guys, the more you know. So yes, you heard it right. He actually is encouraged to wear these through his growing years, which doesn't bug him actually, which is very surprising. So guys, smash the like button on today's video if you feel like Landon is an absolute tough as nails rock star because I don't know if I could sleep with these things on my legs, having my legs perfectly straight all night. I couldn't do it because I got to curl up on a ball. I've got to lay on my back. I've got to move around. He also has to wear that hip abduction brace during the day, which I know has to be uncomfortable at times. He is such a tough kid. So another part of his nighttime routine is we give him his seizure medication before bed. He has not had any seizures since he started this medication on Christmas Eve. <laughs> we are so grateful for that. I also give him a couple of supplements. I've been giving them to him since he was little. One of them is liquid collagen. It's absorbed in the body better if it's liquid. Another supplement called glutathione and just some nutritional supplements. So. And the other medicine, I still have seizures, so. Yeah, this is the one that's been working. You guys. I will tell you, just- The cast is on its last leg. Check this out. Well, not only that, I dread the day we have to take this thing off. It's gonna stink. It's gonna stink, Lando. <laughs> it's gonna stink, brother. That smell, what's that smell? What smell? So, Lando, when do you get this cast off? Four days. Because there you have it. He gets his cast off in four days. I think the first thing I think we said we're gonna do is probably go swimming. We don't know entirely know where because it's 26 degrees outside, but we are gonna go swimming, aren't we, Lando? Anyway, guys, thank you for hanging out with us in today's video, guys. This is just our life in Holland. This is just everyday stuff. We have sometimes do some amazing things. We sometimes just do some regular things. More often than not, it's just regular things. Guys, this guy promised me a chick flick tonight. I did. <laughs> <laughs> What's a chick flick? It's my lucky night. Turn. Oh, what ask a what a chick flick, flick is. Oh, buddy, so many things to learn How in your teenage years. How would you describe a chick flick? Like I would say a chick flick is a movie that is maybe a little bit cheesier than normal that girls tend to enjoy more than boys. The person standing opposite me now, in the rain. Is it still raining? I hadn't noticed. 
smash the like button on today's video. Subscribe down below. 100K, here we come. Good night, everybody. Good night. Okay, you guys, so this is actually not today's video, but we want to actually invite you guys to participate in a pretty cool cause. Now, you guys are very aware of the meaning of our life in Holland. If you're following our channel, you know what it's about, right? Landon has been going to physical therapy at Now I Can, which is a foundation for children who have special needs. They either have cerebral palsy, they have just a, a variety of different physical challenges that this place provides wonderful physical therapy for these kids. He's been going there since he was just a little kid. 18 months old. 18 months old. This place has truly changed his life. You guys, have, if you've been following us for a while, you have seen the transformation that he has come. At birth, he was told he'd be in a wheelchair, and here he is today walking. So this place has been a huge blessing for Heaven us. Sent. Heaven sent. The foundation was started by an incredible woman who was behind it. She actually started it because she took her daughter all the way to Poland to receive this type of therapy. So she brought it here, and it has been helping kids for the last 15 years. They are in their current building right now. They have outgrown it. They've been there for 13 years. Guys, this building is 50 years old. So generally with a building this old comes well, some challenges. So this is what we want to talk to you guys about. They have an opportunity to put in an offer on a new building. Now this building was built in 2017. It was intended as a hospice center. Therefore, it's much, much bigger. And Now I Can has grown out of their current building. And what's really cool, you guys, about Now I Can is that they have families from all around the country come and stay and do therapy. And right now there is only one home that Now I Can has to house an out of town family during a therapy session. Whereas this new facility will provide three additional housing options for these families. So the hallways are six feet wide. The kids can walk by with their wheelchairs and their walkers and wave to each other. It is a dream location for this foundation. So guys, when the foundation reached out to us and asked if we would help. Spread the word. We said, absolutely. In fact, if I can be honest with you, I got a little bit teary on I was gonna get teary right now. <laughs> because we were just talking last night about why we're doing this YouTube channel and the purpose behind it and the feeling behind it. And to be honest with you, her phone call today felt like an answer to my prayers. This is why we are doing this, so that we can make a difference, so that we can spread goodness and help kids just like Landon in any way that we can. So guys, they are wanting to put an offer in on this building, but they're falling up financially a little bit short. So if you guys feel so inclined to donate whatever it is you want to donate, it doesn't matter the amount, to help contribute to them being able to put in an offer on this building. It's their dream building. It would be much appreciated, obviously, on our part and very much appreciated on the part of the Now I Can Foundation, but more so on the lives that will be changed if they are able to expand and to get this bigger facility. So guys, we are going to link in the description below the Venmo for Now I Can and their website where you can also donate if you feel so inclined. You guys, we love you. We appreciate you. If you're new to our channel, welcome to Our Life in Holland. Let's gather together and do some good for those kids out there like our land in Bingham. I have goosebumps. So without further ado, now on to today's vlog. Good morning and welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to Our Life in Holland. We have take two over here. If you watched yesterday's video, you know that Landon was so excited to get his cast off. The orthotist came over and realized that his cast was made of a material that was too hard for the scissors that he brought. So he rescheduled and he's coming back this morning, thank goodness, because Landon has been counting on this day for a very long time. Now I explained this yesterday. He is getting his cast off temporarily. He's getting it put right back on. The only reason that they're taking it off right now is so that they can make a mold for his braces that he wears. He wears AFOs, they're these little braces that go on his legs, he wears them every day for most of the day and he needs new ones now that he's had surgery. So they're gonna take the cast off, make the molds, put the cast back on. Then we are gonna get those braces made, we're going to rush them, get them back as soon as we can. He's saying he's thinking he can get them back in about 10 days and then Landon gets to take off his cast for good. Yeah, but I'm All a little this? worried if you go down by the ankle, it's gonna... It's gonna tickle. It's super padded. Let's ask him this. How many times have you cut someone? Oh man, let's see. Zero. <laughs> Does that make you feel better? Zero. He doesn't ever cut anyone. No. Does that make you feel better? Yeah. I'd have to really screw up. <laughs> then are you gonna miss this thing? No. No? No? You don't think so? 
All those virtual signatures are about to be cut away. Oh, these were, I can see them. You see all those virtual signatures yeah, on there? Yeah, those are bad. Okay, you ready, bud? Hey, get your hand out of there, though. Is it true, by the way, if you tell a lie, a fairy loses its wings, or a fairy dies? Fairy dies. What? This is where it gets especially tickly. Next side, Lando. Next side. <laughs> That's the thickest side right there. They yeah, like they did an awesome ankle. build up. Well, they usually put a big pad there. Yeah, she so. has a huge ankle. Right, he yeah, does? Lando. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> that is a huge ankle. Oh, it didn't go around. It just like hybrid. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So it just goes like this, like shakes. Yeah. I thought I'd shake around. I'm like, <laughs> you're telling me you're not going to get him? <laughs> now it seems pretty hard. You're getting a little worried <laughs> about him over there. Go around. Maybe. Maybe in trouble. Sorry, you got to touch those feet. <laughs> <laughs> when I broke my arm, I broke my arm was the sweatiest thing in the world when I took that cut. It was disgusting. Was that really? Kid threw a weight ball in my arm, and my arm was sitting over Wait, the couch. What? Are you serious? Oh, I'll say that again. <laughs> so, my arm was like over the couch, and the kid just took the weight ball, and it just. No! That's just way too much information for me. This blue material in there is also pretty intense. Yeah, I remember you couldn't get it off with these scissors. That was fun, wasn't it? Everyone plug their noses! <laughs> <laughs> Lando, you still have a foot! Come, take a look. <laughs> Lana, do you remember what it looks like? Do you want to take the first smell? Oh. <laughs> oh don't do it, Lana. Don't do it, Lana. Don't do it. Do oh. it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Ah! Oh, I'm gagging in my mouth. Man, it's not. Oh. Actually, it's like, usually it's like. Worse. <laughs> I love it too bad. I appreciate it, but thank you for not being as sweaty as some other. <laughs> you win the prize today, Lando. I guess it's benefit that it's kind of winter. Mm -hmm. No, you got water skis for feet, dude. You got some big feet. <laughs> Let's watch this foot. Whoa! So fresh and so clean. Dang, Lens. It's your powerhouse. So I'm making more fairy dust. I'm just making more fairy it. dust. So we're just gonna take this one, I'm gonna take it off in about 45 seconds. And then we'll do one more. He takes this away and then it shows him what Landon's exact leg I've looks got an like. Exact replica of his leg. Uh, do you sometimes keep this on for people? Nope. <laughs> Never, <ever. laughs> Why are you kind of wishing this could be your new cast, Lan? Switch out the blue for pink. That would be cool. Nope, this guy over here is going back on your leg. Yeah. <laughs> now, if there's somebody that you really want to punk, that yellow sock. Oh. That's be the thing that has the best smell. This right here is what's <laughs> deadly. And then we take off the pink stuff, and all of a sudden, I've got a perfect replica of your leg. But I really wish this green could stay off. I know, right? It's kind of cool. Yeah. Let that start and do the second half. This one's for the nighttime splint, which is going to keep his gastroc straightened and his hamstrings. Whoa! Have I showed you the picture of what this one's gonna be? No, what is it? Okay, I'll show you. So it's gonna be like this one. This one? Yeah, so it's gonna keep his gastroc and his hamstring stretched at night. Bionic man. Yeah, but it's on. a dynamic stretch, so it, instead of static, How so it just slowly up? gets them back into their stretch. How big this leg is compared to you? <laughs> you want to hold your brother's leg? Almost dropped your brother's leg. Can you hold it? Hold it up. 
<laughs> we are just talking about how we should make this into a big giant lamp. Do you think that would look good as a lamp? Yeah. Did you enjoy having your cast off? For like two seconds. <laughs> Don't worry, this guy's gonna be working around the clock so that you can get those braces. He's not even gonna sleep for the next week. He's gonna be working the whole time to get them ready. I'm gonna get you all dialed in, my man. <laughs> No pinching this time? Cool. Awesome. That's what we like to hear. All right, the orthotist just left. He was amazing. It was quite a process getting two different casts, one for daytime, one for nighttime. We are super excited. It's a brand new kind of nighttime splint. Landon has never had them go all the way up to his hamstrings. This is a dual purpose night splint. It's going to keep his hamstring stretched and his gastroc stretched. It's going to be huge in keeping him stretched through his growing years. It's a newer technology which helps him to do more of a dynamic stretch in place of a static stretch. More comfortable for the child, more efficient for the body. We all had a good laugh at how stinky his foot was gonna be coming out of that cast. Actually, wasn't that bad. I was quite impressed. But we gave his foot a good little bath before he got a clean sock put on, the cast put back on, and rewrapped with some pink casting material. Landon chose pink. He wanted a little upgrade to his cast. He was getting sick of the blue. It looks like a brand new cast. It's all ready for him to get some actual signatures at school next week before the cast comes off for good. Guys, Trevor rolled his ankle. I caught some of it on camera just so you know. But they ran to his aid and they put ice on his ankle. So currently he's sitting out, ice on his ankle. Guys, we cannot do a rolled or spread ankle. Basketball's for fun, soccer's, soccer's for fun too, but soccer's definitely kind of the sport. So we're hoping this is nothing more than just a little bit of a rolled ankle and back in he can go. But that's a little update here for you. If they win this, they go to the championship game, don't you? And right now, currently it is 21 to 17. They're down 21 17 right now. Just try walking on it, kiddo. Give him a good cheer, guys. Give him a good cheer. Oh, you guys, the weather has turned, I would call spring. Oh, Bobby! <laughs> Hi. Hi! So if you guys not noticed, uh, we've acquired two more children today. So our nieces are over here, Poppy and Penny. So we're out just enjoying kind of this nice spring weather and Landon's like, Dad, do you think maybe we could go on the motorcycle? And I thought, Landon, yes we can go on the motorcycle. So Landon and I are gonna go cruise real quick before the sun goes down here on the Ducati Scrambler. Are you ready, Lando? Yeah. No, that doesn't, that doesn't convince me. Are you really ready? Because this thing has been sitting, this beast is ready to be unleashed. Yeah. Are you ready to unleash this beast? Yes. Let's go. for me. There is not enough room in my garage. I'm gonna have to move the car. Welcome back to Our Life in Holland. Did you guys see what just happened? If you missed yesterday's video, I told you guys about a mysterious phone call that I got yesterday morning about a 92 pound delivery of outdoor furniture that I could not figure out. I turned to Justin, so confused. 
we finally put two and two together. Landon's special bike from Shriners Hospital was being delivered. We are so excited. This box is ginormous. If you missed it, go back and watch. Landon and I went up to Shriners Hospital for three different appointments a few months ago. This was before his surgery. And one of those appointments was for a bike evaluation. We got on the waiting list to get an adaptive bike. It's this incredible program where generous donors donate so that families can have access to adaptive bikes so that kids like Landon can ride a bike safely, keep up with their peers, and enjoy riding a bike outside just like all the other kids. So I made a joke yesterday that we were going to go on a family bike ride if the bike arrived, whether it was snowing or sunshine and beautiful. And I jinxed myself because it is freezing cold today and it has been snowing on and off, but the sidewalks are dry. So we are going to wait until everybody gets home tonight. Find a way to distract Landon, unbox this bike and take it out for a spin. Uh, hey, Ashley, come on everyone, let's go. Leonard, do you want the, do you want the bigger small scooter? Hey, will you guys help me with this box real quick, please? What? It's here! Oh yeah. my god! There you it's go. my bike! <laughs> Dude, what do you think, bud? I knew it was here! It came! I knew it! <laughs> that, that giant box you were wondering, that was what your bike was in. Does it what? 92 it. pound delivery today. It came off this huge track. You had to lift it down on this huge conveyor belt because it was way too heavy. Dad, then... you said it wasn't here. I know, I lied. Let it, let it. I love that you're walking out and you're like, oh, I just wish my bike was here. Oh, ooh, and here it is. Ava can ride in there, the basket, and you can pedal. So, do you want to jump on this thing and we'll size it up for you, get ready to go? Yep. All righty, buddy. Alright you guys, Ava's on the bike, I'm on the longboard, turns on a skateboard, Ashley's on the electric scooter. Hey, hey. Hey, guys, I think it's safe to say that he loves his new bike. He's been waiting for this thing. So stinking long, it has finally arrived. Oh boy, I'm falling off, I'm falling all over the place. All right guys, it has been a particularly awesome day at our house. First of all, as you saw, Landon's bike came. What an awesome day that was for him. He is loving his new bike and we are just itching for some nice weather so that we can get out and ride that more often. Guys, bike ride is one of our very favorite family things to do and it has been a little bit of a challenge because the bike that he has, it requires too much pedaling. It's almost too hard for him to actually keep up. This bike is absolutely perfect because it allows him to kind of keep up, keep pace with everyone else. So many great things about it. Straps for his feet so his feet stay in, a whereas, nice supportive back. Whereas before the straps were, we just kind of handmade these straps to go on his bike. So this was like specifically made just for him, which is pretty cool. This bike is the real deal. And just to give a little bit of a piece of reality here, mm -hmm. to purchase a bike like that is thousands of dollars, which isn't very realistic for a family when kids grow out of bikes every single year. You usually go to Walmart and purchase a $100 bike for your kids, they outgrow it, and the way next Christmas, you have to get them another one. So this program makes it possible for kids to have an adaptive bike. At no cost at no cost. Which is pretty, pretty incredible. Amazing. That's pretty amazing. But moving on to bigger things, I just have to tell you guys how full my heart is. I would be lying to you if I told you that I did not cry multiple times today as I watched so many people reach out 
and generous donations to the Now I Can Foundation. Today, the video came out where we told you guys about an opportunity to give to a place where Lennon does therapy, the Now I Can Foundation. They've outgrown the place where they are and they needed our help. And I was just blown away as I watched Venmo after Venmo after Venmo after website donation come in over and over and over in honor of Landon Bingham. It literally makes me emotional when I talk about it because we just felt so much love and support. We just felt so surrounded by so many amazing people like all of you. And I know that not everybody is in a place to donate and so many of you wanted to. And even just the outpouring of love that we received was incredible. So thank you so much. It's amazing how small little things put together can make a big difference. So the founder of the foundation was texting Lindsay all day, sending screenshots of just the number of donations that were coming in and it was it was it was truly overwhelming so whether it was a dollar or ten dollars a hundred or a thousand or whatever it may have been it was humbling to see the amount of support and it honestly brought the the founder of the foundation to tears as well it was, it was pretty amazing so guys thank you so much seriously we could not thank you enough for your love and support not even just for our family in our situation, but for all those wonderful children out there that will benefit from uh, your kindness. So our hearts are full, we are so grateful, and I want you guys to know that I will keep you posted on everything that's going on with the Now I Can Foundation. If they are able to get this new building, then we will take you guys along with us, have a tour of it, and be able to see it. So stay tuned for all of that. Guys, thank you for being a part of our journey. Thank you for being a part of our channel. You guys make Holland a more beautiful place. We love posting videos every day, and we just love reading your comments and interacting with you guys. Thank you for being here. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Be sure to subscribe down below, everybody. We are inching our way to 100,000 subscribers. And we truly feel surrounded by the best. Thank you. Guys, turn on those notification bells. Smash the like button. We will see you guys tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to our life in Holland. The kids have off school today. It is a professional development day today. No holiday, just a day off of school for the kids. The weather outside is beautiful and much to the kids' dismay, they are doing chores today. When we woke up, the house was such a mess. <laughs> that I told the kids that we had to do some cleaning today. So we've been vacuuming, doing laundry, wiping counters, doing dishes, all the cleaning around here. In fact, I'm having the spring cleaning bug lately, wanting to organize every corner of my house and I just can't seem to find enough time around here. We're gonna take a little bit of a break after lunch, take Landon over to physical therapy, and then we've got something big going on later today. Peace out, Walker. Peace out, Walker. <laughs> See you later, Walker. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are back from physical therapy and I snuck out to the backyard because I am keeping a little secret over here. Everything's so much more fun if it's a surprise for some reason for me. So <laughs> I found out last night from the orthotist that Landon's braces got here a little bit earlier than expected. He has an opening today and he is coming with Landon's brace in just a couple of minutes, which means that Landon gets to get his cast off for good. He has been so excited. He has been waiting for this day for so long. He's been counting down the days he thinks that he's getting it off either tomorrow or the next day, but he is coming in just a couple of minutes and Landon has no idea. So we're gonna go inside and tell him the good news. All right, I gathered everybody here in the family room because as you know, they've been cleaning all day on their day off, which they're super thrilled about. And I just kind of wanted to like, think of some ideas of what we could do today. You know? Go to a trampoline park? What do you guys think will be fun? Uh, what if we went bowling? What do you think, Ash? Boating? Uh, yeah. Swimming? 
Ride bike? Bike ride? I don't know. Trampoline Lando, park? what do you think? I don't know. <laughs> what if for our day off of school, we took your cast off? What? What if we took your cast off today? No way. What do you think? Would that be fun? What if I told you that Dave, the orthotist, is coming in five minutes? No! Uh. You're getting your cast off, yeah. baby. You are taking a shower today, baby! Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> I don't even know how to swim. How excited too. are you? Find a scale from one to ten right now. Really excited <laughs> because I really want to get it off. And then we'll go. So. <laughs> Lando didn't think his braces were gonna be ready, but Lando, he texted me last night and said the braces came earlier than expected, and I said, whenever you can come tomorrow, we will be available. Guys, guess what? We are supposed to go swimming tomorrow. That's the other good news. Tomorrow is Penny's birthday, and she's having it at the Provo pool. And so I have been working on this the entire time to make sure that you did not have a cast tomorrow. Yeah. So Lando, oh, tomorrow good. you are going Swimming, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but me and Betty are gonna be swimming. <laughs> I do a backflip, front flip. The only problem with Landon getting his cast off a day or two earlier than expected is that he was planning on having all of his friends and classmates and family members sign his cast tomorrow at school. But I think that he's okay with it, knowing that he can get it off sooner. So we are all going to take a sharpie before he gets here in five minutes and sign this cast. It's basically just gonna be your, your five favorite people in the whole world that sign your cast, Lando. Ava, Ashy, Mom, Dad, and Annabelle. Your five favorites. Mom really just feeling like picking on me today, isn't she? <laughs> oh yeah, Turin, six favorites. Do you think Annabelle will sign it? Yeah, it is kind of hard to write on. It's not exactly a flat surface. Nice, Eva. Let me see. Okay, that's probably... Ava, Ashton. I'll finish the end. There we go. Turin. Turin. Your... Ava, what does the exclamation point mean? It means that you say it loud. Turin! Means you say it loud? Yeah. Turin! Lando, I signed my name with a heart for the O. M heart M. Mom. Nice, Mom. Thanks, Where do I Turin. sign my here? Yeah, good. Oh my. Hi. Wrong thing. Oh, wrong thing. Okay, here we go. I'm doing it on the back. Keep it looking nice, Daddy. Maybe my, my signature palm tree. You want to know why it's Tropical Island, everyone? Because we're going to go somewhere tropical to celebrate this cast coming off. The orthotist brought a special little okay. gift. Yeah, Some little little daffos for a doll. Look how cute I'm these see are. What one fits on both of these dolls. You're gonna see which doll it fits on. Yeah, you do on that one, and I do on. This. I think it's gonna fit her. Your one you got for Christmas. It's gonna be a red party. Too big. Yeah, I think it's gonna fit this girl. What's her name again? Sarah or something? Yeah, it's Sarah, but I want to name her Sparkles. You want to name her Sparkles? Yeah, All right, let's name her Sparkles. And she can have braces just like Lando. I think that goes on the other foot. Check it out, guys. Ava's doll has daffos. There's doll braces. How cool is that? That is insane. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I think it's about to come. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right, Land, you ready to get rid of these? Yep. In the garbage, baby. Next stop, say goodbye. Bye, Cass. <laughs> Bye, Dolly. See ya. Okay, it's been fun, but we're done now. It's been fun, but we're done now. Ta-da! How does it feel? It's hard to walk on my ankle. Does it feel weird? Yeah. Ava and I just came over to the park to watch Ashy at soccer practice. Turin is here with him again today, which is so fun. They rode their scooters over, and it actually doesn't feel like winter today. Are you being silly down there? It's a little warmer than winter, not quite as warm as spring. 
Hurt. <laughs> all right, everybody. I am out here with Mr. Lando. Just got done with some work, and as you guys all saw, Lando got his cast off earlier today. He has been in this cast for what? Six weeks, maybe? Roughly? Maybe six weeks? Something like that? Since February 5th. So. Since February 5th. <laughs> Leave it to Lando to know the exact date. So, since February 5th. So, he's a little wobbly right now. So, the doctors encourage you to get out and walk about a little That's bit. That's exactly right. Six weeks. Six weeks. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> To the date actually anyway so a doctor encouraged us to get out and walk around a little bit because again he's gonna be a little unstable his body's now having to support bye, oh bye mom bye mom Lindsay going to the store in case you guys want to Lindsay and Ava actually are going to buy a birthday gift anyway his body's now having to support in ways that it hasn't had to before because it had a cast so anyway we're out here kind of practicing a little bit exercising just a little bit trying to get those muscles moving get those joints moving again they're gonna be very stiff if any of you guys have broken an arm or any type of limb you know that if it's in a cast for a long period of time it, it kind of calcifies it gets stiff and anyway a lot of lactic acid in there so anyway we're just trying to move that stuff around and so here he is guys you're going to see first glimpse of him walking without his cast which is now official his cast will be off now forever it's official it's gone last, so, last time it wasn't off well they cut it off only <laughs> to size you for the daffos and now that you have those it's off off so here we go All right, one of the things that Landon has been working on is kind of a heel-toe strike pattern, right? So as we walk, it's very natural that our heels hit first than our toes. So one of the big benefits of this surgery is that it creates a more natural movement for him to do a heel-toe kind of strike. So now that the cast is off, that's one of the big things we're trying to focus on here. All right, Landon, you want to show everyone how you run? Are you up to it or no? It's what? What? I went 4.1 on the treadmill today. You guys hear that, everyone? You went 4.1 miles an hour today on the treadmill. Stand up tall, tall. Don't let your knees buckle. You ready? Okay, here you go. On your mark, get set, go. Okay. How's that feel? It feels weird. It feels so weird. All right, you guys, hey, serious moment here. So Landon and I are out on our little bike ride here and as we get closer to the edge of our neighborhood, and as you guys know, we live kind of right by the mountains, I'm just hearing this this helicopter sound very close, probably closer than it than it probably normally is. So anyway, we're passing a walker, a bystander, and he said, hey, listen, there's 10 search and rescue vehicles down there and a helicopter. And I look onto the mountain and there are two rescue workers up there. So I take the drone up there to see if I can't help assist. I only had about 20 minutes worth of battery and I just scoured the ridge line there looking for whatever they might be looking for and even went and kind of signaled to the workers on the mountain that I was going to be searching and they kind of pointed in a direction where I'm supposed to go. I went up there, looked, I didn't see anything. It's starting to get dark, too dark for my drone to actually see anything. Battery just died, unfortunately. I'm going to go charge it again and hopefully with enough daylight I can come back out here. But I don't know, I haven't read the news yet, but somebody I think has gone missing up there clearly. So wow, we wish them all the best. This is this is definitely a scary moment that no one wants to find themselves in. We're going to cut to some of the drone footage though of uh, the workers on the mountain and just the short little search that I did with my drone. Yeah, really hoping they find. In fact, I'm looking at the helicopter right now, spotlighting the mountain. There's all sorts of hikes up here where we live, all sorts of hikes. So maybe someone didn't return back in time. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna start looking at the news outlets to see. But anyway, want to give you guys that quick update. Wow, talk about good timing to have a drone out and available to help them search.
That's okay, guys. You can see uh, people on the other side of the canyon here with flashlights searching as well. Possibly on each side of the canyon they're searching right now. Helicopters circling the mouth of the canyon as we speak. I see three flashlights up there, fairly high on the mountainside right now looking. This is intense. This is really, really intense. And the guys, the sun's gone down. At this point, they're just relying on, on sunset lighting right now. I was wrong. This, this helicopter does not have a spotlight, it looks like. Okay, it, it's getting, guys, it's getting really dark. I'm sorry, I'm using my cell phone here. It's the best I've got. They're shiny. I, there is a light off in the distance on a small little peak up there, and the, and the helicopter is hovering around it, shining a green laser at it right now. I think that's supposed to indicate to the workers that they have found something. I don't know. He is circling that spot again and again, though, so there is something there that he's trying to point out. Something's there. Okay, so with the workers are heading up this ridge over here. They actually are finding that the guy is supposedly over in that direction over there. Again, they're really pinpointing that spot right there. In fact, you can see they're shining a light right now on the mountain. You've got flashlights up over here, but what you don't see is there's a canyon wall right there in the middle. He's on the other side of the canyon. You guys can see the three flashlights up there, and then there's one off on the left-hand side of my screen that keeps flashing. See it up there on the left? So guys, we've got now four lights. We've got one, two, three, four, and then there's a there's a fifth over here that keeps shining. These guys on this ridge line, let's see if we can see them. They're coming down. They're right there. There's the, there's another one. That ridge line, they're coming down because he's it looks, whatever they're looking for is going to be over there. It looks like helicopter's gone. I don't know where the helicopter is. I don't even hear it anymore. Okay, you guys, my phone is literally about to die, and I do not have an update for you. I'm going to go back home and grab a different camera here. It's now gone almost completely dark. We're just sitting underneath a street light here. Drone would be no good at this point unless it had some sort of flashlight on it or some kind of spotlight helicopter has gone i don't know exactly where it is people are getting higher and higher up on the mountain there is one light that is standing completely still where the helicopter was circling it with a green laser and that light has remained in the same spot so i don't know if that is who they are looking for and they're with somebody and that person is, is giving them a signal an sos signal that they are here but that light has not moved and every single flashlight on the mountain is converging towards that single light right now so again we really are hoping they're finding whatever they're looking for Guys, all right, so I'm back outside. I've got my camera on me now. I'm just now observing the mountain because it's just dark. I'll show you what I can see here. For, uh, see if you guys can see it from here, okay? So light up there, you can see three of them. One, two, three. Okay, so you can kind of see that. Quiet, you can hear the helicopter in the distance. Then if I take you over here, see if we can see between these houses, see if I can zoom. More lights over there. Here comes the helicopter. He is crazy low right in our neighborhood. Okay, so I think where the helicopter was circling its green light, that must not have been anything. Again, I don't know what they were trying to indicate by doing that, but people are still all over the mountain shining lights, so I, don't, I do not believe they have found what they are looking for just yet, or who they're looking for, I should say. All right guys, the helicopter's landed right here, right in our backyard basically. Sorry, it's blurry, you can't really see. All you can see is the green light, but it is 300 yards that way. Okay, so guys, man, I wish someone would invent a camera that could capture what the human eye captures because it was just tough. And I apologize in advance if this video is just dark and whatnot because you're getting just what we're getting. I can see much better, but these helicopters, there's two of them now, as you probably yeah. saw. Two of them. I think two I just held three fingers. Two of them. And uh, one has one light, the other one has two lights. The other one looks like it's probably a highway patrol helicopter. Now they're brought out and it's got two lights and it's spotting. My guess is, again, that one singular light has not moved since the very beginning. And all the lights on that side of the mountain are headed towards that one individual light that has not moved. However, the helicopters are searching over here, which is completely in the opposite direction of where that light is. But again, all the flashlights are heading towards that one light. So I don't know what's going on, but it is very apparent that whatever they're looking for, they don't know exactly where to look because they are going and scouring that entire mountainside with light. The helicopters are searching in a different area than that one individual light. So nothing on the news yet. I think we'll probably be the first ones to hear about it. Um, we know who it is. Wait, who is it? It's a 28 year old man. 
man. Okay, so we're being told now, uh, we're seeing a news article out there that it is a 28-year-old male hiker who went missing around noon yesterday. He's an added hiker. He was supposedly due back either last night or this afternoon, and they don't know exactly where he is, but it is a 28-year-old hiker who has not yet returned. You guys, thank you for hanging out with us today. Landon could not be more excited about having that cast off. And it's actually surprised me though. It's been more of an adjustment than he or I expected. He is actually upstairs taking his very first shower in over a month. <laughs> that smell, what's that smell? What smell? We would clean him as best as we could. We would give him a type of sponge like bath. A, a nurse's bath. Yeah, like but it. he did not fully get into a shower for the sake of keeping his cast dry for over a month. So That was the doctor's the, instructions. The nurse was just very adamant that we did not try any sort a bag of a cast nothing. bag. Like, okay. She's like, the water will get in there, don't do it. So we followed her, well, her Landon, rules. Landon's a clean kid, so it wasn't that bad. But he is definitely stoked to have his cast off. A little bit of an adjustment, as we've said. But we are glad that we went out on that walk tonight because guys, we caught a pretty interesting search and rescue you guys have seen throughout the video. Wishing uh, the very best to that man and to, to their family. We really do hope we'll keep you guys updated we're going to um, keep that family in our prayers because absolutely. that is such a scary situation. It's totally scary. And in a canyon or when you're on a hike, it's very easy to get lost, disoriented. Well, I mean, these mountains are so big that if you're looking for one person, I mean, you guys saw that the, the search area, I mean, it's it's worse than a needle in a haystack. It's, you know, it's trying to find a needle in a, on a beach buried. Like it's it's not And not now easy. it's dark, which and doesn't dark. help at all. So, so really we hope for the very best. We'll definitely keep you guys updated as that story progresses and as we know more, but we were kind of there first and foremost before even the news article came out, we had the drone in the air just on honestly recreating with the drone and we're lucky enough to kind of catch it as it unfolded. But guys, thanks for being here. Be sure to subscribe down below. Smash the like button on today's video if you would because we love you guys and see you tomorrow. See you guys. Good night, everybody. you guys we're heading into the pool because Lana has not been swimming for so long I don't think this day could arrived any faster isn't that right Lando yep. welcome back to our channel welcome back to our life in Holland we are going swimming today it fell on the perfect day as you know Lana got his cast off yesterday just in the nick of time because my niece is having a little swimming birthday party with our family tonight. And we are coming to the fun indoor pool where Landon had his friend birthday party. As you know, his only wish before surgery was to go swimming before he had his cast on. So now we are doing the exact same thing, something that Landon loves so very much to swim. His foot is definitely adjusting to being out of the cast. He is a little bit sore because he is using muscles that he has not been using for the last month. and. As you know, his whole body feels completely different. So being in the water and feeling weightless is going to be amazing for him tonight. But we are so excited to go celebrate my cute little niece tonight and have a little bit of fun at the pool. First time in the pool, baby. How's it feel? Does it feel like we're in Texas again? So we forgot the GoPros and most of our waterproof any camera. So we're gonna rely today on uh, the iPhone. So here's a true test of the iPhone's ability to be waterproof. Fingers crossed, otherwise I'm gonna get a, I'm actually up for an upgrade. So worst case scenario here, I have to get a new phone. But we're gonna really test the iPhone today down a water slide. Guarantee I win, turn. I'm taking my phone with me. Oh, 
on, Ashton. You ready? Yeah. All right, guys, we got this thick climbing wall here, and we're going to see if Ashton can get up this. Let's see if he's got his dad's jeans here on rock climbing. Go for a test underwater. Here we go. Three, two, and one. All right, go, Jim. All the way up. You gotta go to the red one. Keep going. Grab that big red one. I should get that red one. Stand up on that left foot. What a boy. Yeah, Ashu. Yeah. <laughs> Go to that next red one above you. Stand up on your right leg. Stand up. Yeah. <laughs> Here now, grab the red one above your head. I am thoroughly impressed right now, everybody. This is amazing. Right there, right there. Ashton, big up you, son. Alex Connell, everybody. Alex Connell.
There's a battle going on between Curran and Ashton right now. <laughs> Oh boy! Give it a chance, Dad. Better go break this up. <laughs> nope, you're not leaving. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Get my head! Ava, where is she? There you go! Oh, fight's back on again. Three, two, one, go. Ah, I can resist! <laughs> been playing and having fun and laughing, right guys? Happy birthday to you! 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 If it's nice, do it twice, then you get a pack of ice. Eat more chicken! I have a present for you. And look it. Even Turin wrapped it. <laughs> oh, such a good job. I, 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 you know, you just put it this way and that also He was a good helper after school for me today. Okay, ready? What is it? What is it? What is it, Penny? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> she just touches it. Is this? Is this it? Is it makeup? Oh, it's going to be so fun. Huggies, Huggies, Penny. Can you put your own Huggies and Ava had Huggies? Oh, and I'm oh, Me first, me first. No, me. I'm going to just stand there in front of Justin. Okay, I'm ready. My turn. Oh, goodness. Penny, Penny. Penny. Hugs, Penny. Hugs. She just Penny. leans in. She just leans in because she's too cold to move her Penny's arms. Penny's turn. <laughs> Lando's turn. Huggies turn. No. Ashley's turn. Steffi's turn. <laughs> guys, thank you for hanging out with us today at Penny's birthday party. Guys, she is the cutest little girl. We just adore her. I'm telling my sister today, it's so fun. She and I are only four years apart, but as far as our... You and Penny are only four years apart? <laughs> my sister and I are only four years apart, but I had kids way younger than she did. So it's kind of fun because we don't have babies here anymore. We don't have toddlers, and so we get to just adore them. And she always feels bad handing over her baby to me, my niece, and I it's just love it. It's yeah, fun. it's so fun for us. I will say when we were skiing the other day, Turn made a comment that he's like, Dad, wouldn't it just be so fun to be little and small? Because I could go up and ski up and grab little Ava and just pick her up or carry in my arms. And it is fun to be little. And it's just, Penny's just so little. She's she just so cute. Anyway, we had a ton of fun. We actually got to spend the entire day with her. It made us feel so special because all she wanted for her birthday was to be with mm -hmm. our family. She yeah. loves our family. She does. It's kind of So cute. Ava got to go to a little jumping place with her this afternoon while the boys were at school. We headed down to therapy and then we all went swimming tonight. And so we just got to spend the whole day with her and we felt so special she wanted to spend the day with us. And of course, Lana was completely ecstatic about the idea of swimming. It has been six weeks. Could that not have been more perfect that he got his cast off yesterday and then yeah. happened to get to go swimming today? We did not plan that, by the way. I think I was talking about this a little bit when we got to the pool, but it's actually a little bit of an adjustment for him because he's been used to walking in a cast this whole time. So he's actually a little bit sore tonight. A <laughs> little bit. After going up and down the stairs, he had so much fun and I think that he's gonna be a little bit sore tomorrow, but that's okay. So guys, we got some exciting things that we're working on. So stick around, hang out with us. Be sure to subscribe if you're new here and smash the like button on today's video. Welcome if you guys are new yeah, here. Welcome. And as always, turn on those notification bells, people. Make sure you know when we're posting our stuff. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. See you guys. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day here at iLife in Holland. So you guys, back in the saddle today, working from home the next couple of days. We're gonna check in with Lindsay in just a minute because they actually are headed to the doctor's office. We're gonna take you guys along with them because Landon's ankle, as you know, has been a little bit sore. But before we check in with them, I actually wanted to tell you guys about an app that Lindsay and the kids used to pass the time on our long drive back from Lake Las Vegas. It is called Word Farm Adventure. So it's a new kind of word puzzle game, and for those that know our family, 
that you know how much we love word puzzles, especially Lindsay. Now, because I'm driving, I'm not playing the game. However, Lindsay and the kids were playing this thing head to head, having an absolute blast. It makes Lindsay and I happy knowing that the kids are using devices for something that actually challenges their brain a little bit. So Word Farm Adventure is an app where you solve word puzzles while building your dream farm. You solve word puzzles, word finding challenges, word scrabble missions to build and renovate your own dream farm. Now guys, there's a story behind the farm and as you progress the game, it continues to get a little bit more mysterious and the kids experienced that as we drove home. This is a five star rated game in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. So I think what the kids love most about this game, especially Lindsay, is the ability to actually play against one another in a one of a kind word puzzle match. And there are tons of different missions that you can actually complete in this game. So it gives you a ton of variety to choose from to pass the time. So one thing in particular that the kids love is that you can design your own farm from the county fair to your farmhouse. Farm and Ava's favorite part is taking care of the animals. So guys, if you have not downloaded, download Word Farm Adventure for free. Click the link in the description below and start rescuing your own farm. And maybe you might play against uh, me or Lindsay one of these days. Okay, let's go check in now with Lindsay and Landon to see what is going on at the doctor's office. What's up everybody? I'm just hanging out with Mr. Lando today and I wish it was under better circumstances. It's because my ankle. His ankle is still bothering him. If you guys remember, when we were on our trip to Lake Las Vegas, we were having a lot of fun going up and down the stairs, down the water slide. And at some point during our trip, Landon hurt his ankle and it has been bothering him ever since. And we just made the best of it when we were on our trip. Landon would ride in the wagon to and from the pool and Justin would carry him up the stairs and he was such a trooper. And we just kind of thought it was just seemed like a minor thing and it would get better and like it. it and it would just get better in a couple of days. It didn't seem like a big deal, but here we are a week later, back from vacation, and it's still bothering him. Unfortunately, his ankle was probably pretty fragile. It had just come out of the cast a couple weeks before that, so it was very susceptible to being injured. So this surgery was a really big deal for Landon to get, so we want to make sure that his ankle is okay and that there's not a more serious issue going on. So this feels a little like deja vu because right before we left for Texas for his surgery, where did we have to go? To the pediatrician. Why? For the same reason. To the same reason. Dang it because he hurt his ankle right before surgery. So we came to the pediatrician, they sent us to get x-rays to make sure the ankle wasn't broken. It wasn't broken, it was just sprained, bruised, hurt, we're not really sure, but we know it wasn't broken. So here we are again. Hope I don't break it this time. <laughs> here we are again, just praying that Landon's ankle is okay because he is actually starting a physical therapy session in next six days. In six actually. days. And we don't have time for that, do we, Lando? Mm. We don't have time for a broken ankle. Mm, which I doubt it is actually broken. Yeah. We're feeling good about it, but we need it to heal and be better ASAP. Yep. ASAP. Can you guys all just smash the like button for how tough this kid is? Mm -hmm. Never ceases to amaze me, this little boy. Alright you guys, we just finished up at the pediatrician. We met with our regular pediatrician who Landon has been seeing since he was a tiny, tiny baby. We caught him up to speed on everything that has happened. Because as we talked about earlier in this video, Landon got checked out for a hurt ankle right before his surgery in February, but we didn't see our pediatrician because he happened to not be there that day. So he didn't really know everything that's been going on. So we caught him up to speed, he checked out his ankle, and he let us know that... I might have fractured my ankle. There's a possibility of a fracture. He doesn't know for sure. It's definitely swollen. There's a little bit of fluid right by his ankle. It could just be a bruise. It could just be sprained. It could be a hairline fracture in the fibula, I believe he said. He said because of the area that it's in is why he worries that it could be. And worst case scenario, it could be a bad break and we'd have to take him to a specialist. But we're just staying positive over here. We talked through all the scenarios because if it's broken, we're going to have to postpone my session. But the good news is I'm going to do the May one. <laughs> yeah, so Landon has physical therapy starting on next Monday and it's an intensive physical therapy session. So we talked through all the scenarios. If it is indeed broken, just a hairline fracture, then he has to wear a boot for a month. 
Well, we talked to the pediatrician and he said that his brace is pretty much like a boot. So he'd probably just wear his brace for the entire day and then his night splint at night to keep it immobilized for one month. So we would move Landon's physical therapy session to May, which we decided there's always a positive. One of his really, really good friends is gonna be doing it in May. And so his name is Arrow. And his name is Arrow. We love him so much. So we don't know what's coming, but we are keeping our heads high and staying positive, aren't we, Lando? Yeah, I, I mean, I really wanna do the May because I really wanna be with Arrow, but I don't really care what happens. It's kind of a win-win situation, I think. So wish us luck. We're hoping it's just a bruise. If it's just a bruise, we just need him to feel better. Let's do this, Lando. needs a peanut that's why we invited you Hi, Ava. <laughs> all right you guys we got our x-rays completed we will not find out the results until tomorrow morning guys i will be really sad if he broke his foot especially his ankle that he had surgery on if i mean honestly it'd be a little bit of a setback that we won't get too serious about but it'd kind of be serious for me at least because his recovery has already been so hard and now to have to put him back in a boot he loses a lot of range of motion would have to postpone his therapy sessions it would not be good so guys As you saw at the doctor's fingers office, crossed. We we were trying really hard to just stay positive because the truth is, is that if it's broken, there's nothing else we can do about, about it. Yeah. But definitely having some of those mama bear feelings that Justin's having right now, just that I'm not he's a mama already bear, no. <laughs> papa, a papa bear papa feelings. Bear. Love you, papa bear. Just that, you know, it's already been quite a year, quite a process, quite a journey. He's already been through so very much and this would just kind of be another big bump in the road. So we are just really praying so hard that it is just a bruise and that it will heal in hopefully a couple days, maybe another week and he'll be on his way to continuing to recovery from the surgery totally. that he's been through, so. But regardless of the outcome, we will stay optimistic because that's what Landon does. He really stayed super optimistic yeah, today. I was really proud of him because I personally would have felt pretty dang discouraged. Okay. So come back tomorrow for that update because we'll find out tomorrow what the results are. Guys, if you are new to our channel, thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out with us. Just another day in the life of our life in Holland. Mm -hmm. Be sure to subscribe down below. Turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of our awesome videos. And thumbs up the video because they're generally pretty awesome, right, Ava? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Good night, everybody. Bye. Okay, guys, welcome back to our channel. We're on our way to school. I get my x-ray results today to see if I broke my ankle and yep. Feeling kind of nervous. We are just on our way to school. It is Wednesday, which means Turin is still in bed snoozing. And as Landon told you, we find out this morning if he broke his ankle or if it's just a bruise. So he's feeling so nervous this morning. The bummer part of it is that his doctor's office doesn't open until 30 minutes after he is in school. So what did I promise you, Land? I promised him because that's some pretty big news. So we're just saying extra prayers on the way to school today broken. that it's not broken. Okay, and Ava Ashy Landon, how much are we missing the Las Vegas 90 degree weather right now? <laughs> it is freezing and cloudy this morning and we are wishing that we were back in the sun. Going to the pool every day. All right, you guys, we have the results of the x-ray. It took a lot longer this morning than we were anticipating. We kind of thought the results would just be there when the office opened this morning, but the radiologist has to read it at the hospital and then they have to send it over to the pediatrician's office and then the nurse has to call me. So I think there was a little bit of a delay there. So poor Landon's at school at 8.30 thinking that he's gonna get a phone call any minute. And it was more like 9.45 when he finally got the phone call from me. The nurse called me, I answered on my AirPods at the gym and I am just praying my heart out out as it felt like the words were coming out in slow motion from her but I am feeling so 
relieved because his ankle is not broken. Oh my gosh, I yesterday, as you could tell, was trying to stay so positive because the truth is when something happens, there's nothing you can do about it except to go forward with a positive attitude and faith that everything's gonna be okay. But I was feeling stressed and discouraged for cute little Landon. He has been through it. He's been through so much already and this would have been a, just another bump in the road. So I am feeling like this is the biggest blessing in the whole world. They said to just keep icing, do ibuprofen, kind of take it easy. They said the brace would be a great support to him to kind of help it heal faster. So that's great. He's always wearing his braces. So as of now, we're not going to postpone his physical therapy. He technically doesn't start until next Tuesday. They said to just let pain be his guide. So if he's feeling okay by next Tuesday, we're going for it. So needless to say, we are feeling very grateful at the Bingham House today. We are all together as a family because tonight we have a bunch of sports going on. Turns got soccer practice. Ashton has a soccer game tonight. It is a gnarly day of weather for spring. We've got hail, we've got thunderstorms. We're not really sure if any of this is gonna happen, but can I just get a big round of applause from the entire Bingham family for the fact that Landon does not have a broken ankle. <laughs> Woo, go Lando! <laughs> Best news ever. All right, we are here at the fields now and the weather has cleared up a smidge. We no longer have any hail or thunderstorms. It's a little gloomy, it's still freezing. The fields are very wet. So Ash is gonna head out there and see if this game's happening. All right, well, Ashton's team is here, but it looks like the opposing team is not going to show up tonight. That's what's so hard about weather like this. Just an hour ago, there was thunder, lightning, hail, and it seemed like the game was not going to be able to be played, but the weather has cleared up and they really still can play. So it looks like the other team's forfeiting. They're gonna have to wait it out for about 10 minutes, make sure the other team doesn't show up, and then we're out of here. Turns, practice is officially canceled. So we might have a much quieter night than we had planned on. We might just have to build a fort. That's what I always did when I was little and it was a rainy day. We'd build a fort, eat pizza, and watch a movie. All right, we are taking this rainy day very seriously. The kids are getting, oh, Ava's getting started. We are making a fort in the family and we picked up some pizzas for an easy dinner. We're just gonna watch a movie in our fort, have some pizza, and enjoy this gloomy day. All right, here's the plan for the fort. Originally, we were attaching everything to these bar stools, but they're kind of on the low side. So we're trying to use the edges of couches and we're thinking of maybe dragging over the kitchen table because we want the edges to be a little bit higher so that it's not like we have to crawl underneath. We want some space under there so we can sit. All right, Tur, let's try to drag this table over. Okay, Ash has given us some walls back here, making it more like full on fort under here. We don't want to be able to see out of the edges. Ooh, we're gonna need some blankets on the other side of the table. Mm, the whole thing, yeah. So we can get in there to eat our pizza? Yeah, and then like have light. No, like eat your pizza. So we can see. Yeah, good plan, good plan. We are busting out the pretzel pizza. Seems to kind of be our thing at Little Caesars right now. Pretzel crust all the way. Pepperoni. It's more like pretzel pizza, not just crust. A couple of them are considering sleeping in this fort tonight. Not just eating pizza, not just watching a movie, but sleeping. We will see how long that lasts. Last night was a night for the books. The wind was so loud, we thought our house was gonna fall over. I live with that every night in the fall. <laughs> Do you hear this guy over here? He lives with this every night. I do. I'm the fall. <laughs> Our house is to close to a canyon, and at night the wind blows out of the canyon, and Turin's room gets the bulk of that wind. So it's the loudest. 
the loudest by far. Yes, I was laying with Taryn. We lay with our kids before they go to bed at night and I was laying in Taryn's bed last night, fell asleep. That's where Ashton ended up in there. It was a party in there, but the wind was so loud that I kept thinking there was like a big crash and I'd jump up and it was nothing. It was crazy. channel welcome back to our life in Holland happy Monday morning I hope you guys have, are all having a great start to your week it is pouring rain over here but honestly we need it we live in the desert we did not get a lot of snow this year so bring on the rain bring on the gloomy rainy day I am actually really excited I just finished up at the gym and I'm headed up to do something that I've never done before it's called a DEXA body scan it's basically like the gold standard of body composition testing it's a high-tech machine I don't even know exactly how it works to be honest with you but it's a good starting point of measurements. It gives you statistics on your bone density and your body fat percentage and how much muscle you have in different areas of your body. It's pretty specific. I love that kind of stuff. It's so interesting to me and it helps me to know how to adjust my nutrition and my workouts and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm starting my morning off going to get that done this week. There are so many exciting things happening. The month of May is always crazier than Christmas, I think. Landon is starting his physical therapy this week, his big session. Ava has dance pictures on Saturday. She has her music recital on Saturday. Turin has lots of soccer coming up this month. We all have a music recital, piano recital, including me, so that's gonna be fun. Ava has swimming lessons, so many things to come this month. So buckle up for an exciting May at the Bingham House. All right, you guys, I just finished up. I have a huge packet of information that I'm gonna go home and study because the information is so interesting to me. My college degree was in exercise science, fitness and wellness. So this is right up my alley. It showed that my right arm is stronger than my left arm since I'm right-handed and my right leg is stronger than my left leg because I probably held kids on my right side. It's so interesting. So now I am on my way heading to the school to pick up Landon and Ava and head to therapy. Right, you guys I've got Landon I picked him and Ava up from school at the same time today he is so excited because today is day one of which session land it's my 26th 26th physical therapy session for those of you who are new here Landon does something called intensive physical therapy he does a session they call it it's three weeks long five days a week four hours a day Whoa. intensive is the perfect word because it's a lot huh yeah, Landon I know. and he loves it. He loves his therapists. He loves the friends that he gets to meet. He just ha has such a good attitude about coming to therapy, don't you, Land? Yep. It's kind of like a party. Yep. So today is day one, and the reason why this therapy session is significant is because it's the first one post-surgery. So we're really excited for him because now post-surgery, his muscles have much greater range of motion than they did before. His muscles are a lot looser, and his cast is off, and I think it's gonna be really awesome to see how much progress he can make in the next three weeks. Since this is day one, they spend the first little bit doing measurements so that we kind of know where he's starting with range of motion and then it helps us to measure and see how much progress he makes while he's here for the three weeks. Lando, with how comfortable you look, it's almost like assessment days a day at the spa. Oh, oh. Now I know why lobsters let out that joyful squeal when they're dropped in the pot. You got a pillow, you're lounging. Sometimes being stretched feels good. Sometimes not though, huh, Land? <laughs> 
there's a couple places from surgery where Landon is a little bit more sensitive. It took a little bit longer to heal and one of those places is in his quad. Another one is in his adductors. And his therapist is using this really cool tool right now that helps to kind of break up where it wants to form scar tissue and helps him be looser and more comfortable in that area post-surgery. therapist just barely had him do this exercise where he stands up from sitting down, walks around a target, comes back and sits down. Right after his surgery, when he was still recovering, still in pain, they had to hold his hand and it took him about 45 seconds to get around the target and sit back down. He just barely did it in about seven seconds. This is incredible! So that tells you how well he's recovering. He was pretty excited to hear that. All right, the next exercise he's going to do is another one that he did right after surgery. Going from sitting down to standing up, sitting back down, standing back up. He had a really hard time even completing five of those right after surgery and it was really, really sore because his quad muscle was so sore after surgery. So we're gonna kind of show you side by side right after surgery and now. Right, Landon just finished the first half of his four hours here at Now I Can. And they've got him all set up here in the stander. I love the stander. <laughs> well, why wouldn't you love the stander? He's got quite the setup over here. I do have quite the setup. Protein shake. This is his request every time that he comes to therapy. He says, Mom, will you please pack me my cottage cheese and pretzels? So we've got garlic and Parmesan pretzels dipped in cottage cheese. He's got a little drink packet in his water bottle. Drink packets make water a little tastier. Uh -huh. And then he's got an iPad that he gets to play on just for the 30 minutes that he's in the stander. So the stander is this cool looking thing over here where they put him in these leg immobilizers which keep his legs straight. It's like a good long stretch. And then they've got the tray set up over here. It's got great posture. So it's kind of a little, a little break but they're multitasking by helping him stretch at the same time. So he gets 30 minutes here in the stander. Lando definitely needs a little snack to help him get through the four, hour, four hours of physical activity. Can you show us your muscles? <laughs> Whoa, watch out for this guy, huh? Push that higher bench with your legs. Whoa, there's a hole there. Use <laughs> your foot for a tap, okay? I'll try to do it. Okay, all right, push that leg. Use this leg to push it. Oh, there. There you go, push upward. <laughs> Someone's getting confident. Whoa. Landon Nicole says that this is way past baseline. What does that mean? It means that you're already doing things that you were never doing ever before, even before surgery. To be confident standing, balancing on those benches like that, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> you can tell how confident you feel up there. It's pretty awesome. Even having his legs this far apart, his range in his abductors is huge. Is that right? Abductors? Adductors? Abductors. Abductors. Yeah. Range in his abductors. Wait, you said, you said I got them mixed up. I know. One has a D, one has a D. Adductors on the inside, abductors on the outside. Who knew that you were gonna learn how to floss at therapy? Yeah. Remember, you don't wanna move your body. Just move your arms, not your body. Those are some killer dance moves, dude. You know who I think you look like when you do that? You look like Papa Tim when you dance like that. I do? Yep. Yeah, of 
<laughs> that must be where you get your moves from. <laughs> he doesn't even have a beat. <laughs> oh, Mr. Show Off on the step. <laughs> this little peanut has been here with mom watching Nando all day, huh? Do you want to show them what you made in kindergarten today? Because it might be as cute as you. I'm just like the baby joy and mom just the <gasps> that's me and that's you? That might be the cutest thing I've ever heard. Did you know that the kangaroo was my favorite animal when I was in elementary? Huh? There's no feet. <laughs> that's because it just sits in his mama all day long. And they just hop around together. Yeah, and then when he gets too heavy, the, um, the mom kicks him out and then the daddy holds him. <laughs> oh, that's good. Really? That's a real thing? Does the dad have a pouch too? He really does? My little gymnast. <laughs> you guys, what is up? First time on camera today. I have been busy at work. Typical me being busy at work, and I'm sometimes reminded that I'm really busy. But well, we're having lobster ravioli for dinner. I think Lindsay ravioli. missed the gig. I was just Wait, what are you I said, and sometimes I'm reminded of how busy I am at work often. I know it's a word. As I'm zooming in on you. Guys, Ava's got this new song she plays on Alexa called Chicken Wing, Chicken Wing. Hot dog and bologna. Hot dog and bologna. Chicken and bologna. Chicken with my homie. Chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog and bologna. Anyway, so we're having ravioli. Lobster ravioli. I keep saying Lobster ravioli. Guys, for those that are interested in our meal this evening, Costco lobster ravioli. Guys, we are huge. Well, I'm a huge lobster fan. I don't know if Lindsay's lobster. I do right? love lobster, and I, as you know, on therapy weeks, we're not really home a lot, so Guys, it's, easy it's is started. the key. You know, the good thing about physical therapy is this. Because I have a flexible schedule and I work from home, I can also work from anywhere. So, while Lindsay might take, I'm very often available to pick up. So we're kind of a good team. Yeah, very, yeah. He helps me think? out. Yep, if I'm a therapy, he helps me out at home. Some days, he takes him to therapy, works from therapy, and then I manage home. We are definitely a great team. Good little team. And I will oh. tell you, at therapy today, he learned how to floss. So it was successful. Like his teeth? Uh, flush it. Flush it good. No flush it good. Show us, Mom. <laughs> Ashley, <laughs> Ash, show us how to floss. Ava, you go. All right, Tur, let's see it. Lindsay just hit herself. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> there we go. You gotta go faster, though. Go, 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 For those of you that know me, I won't even attempt to floss because I don't think. Oh, okay, your turn, your turn. Nope, 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 nope. As you guys saw, today was an awesome first day of therapy and I was telling Justin when we got home that it was really cool because there's just so much hope in this physical therapy session. Coming off of surgery, him having all of this range of motion he's never had before to work with, lots of areas where he can now strengthen. They said that all of those lengthened muscles are weak now, so now he just gets to strengthen those. But it was really cool, and I think it put a huge smile on his face for him to be able to do things that he's never done before. He danced, he moved his body, he stood on these benches and just stood there confidently and, and just held his body in ways he never has before. So I think it was very encouraging for him and gave us a lot of hope for how much he can hopefully gain from this surgery. Should be a good few weeks here, guys. This is his first session after surgery. All right, y'all, we are putting our children to bed. Actually, I'm heading on the stairs eating an ice cream Legit, bar. I just walked over with the camera and turned it on and I just saw Lindsay <laughs> pop up because she's over here eating an ice cream bar. Mint chip, highly recommend it. So we were rolling our house that if you were over the age of 16, you may eat outside of the kitchen. Or 
if you have, made it. Or if you are more mature than a 16 year old. You have to have one or the other. Lucky for Lindsay, you don't she can fall drive. in that category. No, that was my distio. <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching today's wonderful vlog here at the Bingham Family Household I Life and Holland. Hi, Eva. You ready for bed? Squirrel! Be sure to subscribe down below. Smash the like button with your hands, not your noses. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Right now, I'm going to a world check, and it's my 10 year old world check. And after this, I'm headed to PT as usual. And I love all my therapists. What's the day this, Oh, it's Friday. Friday. And, it's, and it's almost the weekend. So, Woo! yeah. First week of physical therapy in the books. <laughs> almost over. And what world check is this? How old are you? 10. And. Well check. Turin just had his a couple of days ago. Ashton's is this afternoon, so we're spending a lot of time finding out how much people are growing too fast. They're growing up way too fast. That's one thing that we know for sure. So busy day over here at the Bingham House. I actually came straight from the gym, picked up Lando from school extra early today. Yep. So we could head here. Mm -hmm. Lando just found out that he's four. I'm four eight and a half, you guys. I'm four, getting tall. Four eight and a half. So the question is, is Landon or his identical twin Ashton taller? I guess we'll find out this afternoon. I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really matter. It's just fun because you guys are constantly growing so fast. I think he is a little bit taller than I don't kids. know. We'll find out. All right, if you think you're seeing deja vu, you are not. I am yet back at the pediatrician's office with Ashton. And I told you this morning that we wanted to know who was taller, Landon or Ashton. Well, the results are in, folks. Ashton doesn't know how tall Landon measured yet. You wanna know how tall Landon is? Yes. Landon is four, eight and a half. Wow. So who's taller? Tell them. I'm four ten, so I'm taller. Four ten. He is two inches from five feet. These boys are growing like weeds. <laughs> Crazy, crazy, and they go back and forth between who's growing. So it looks like Ashton has had the most recent growth spurt. Yep. <laughs> hey, Missy Lou, do you think you're the patient? <laughs> He's gonna come in and say, you don't look like Ashton. All right, Ashton just asked a very important question. What was he standing up fully straight? That's a tough question to ask because sometimes Landon doesn't stand up fully straight. So it might be closer than we think it is. Yeah. Sure. They're measuring an inch and a half, but I kind of think we need to do a back to back tonight. What do you think? Yes. <laughs> All right, we are home from all of our appointments today, yeah. hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. And we are doing chores because the house is a disaster. And guess who came to help? <laughs> and as, as she's just thrilled over here because cousin crew knocked on the door, wanted to hang out, and Ashton's like, please mom, please. And I was like, sorry, you have chores and crew offered to help. Like really, cousin of the year award goes to crew being a... <laughs> Looks like you need your help in there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm teasing you, Ash. She dropped a bunch of plastic oh bowls. It sounded a lot more catastrophic than it really was. <laughs> but Ash is hurrying to get his chores done because this is by far the nicest, most beautiful, sunshiny, warm day that we have had since last summer. Would you? Since, since yesterday. <laughs> since yesterday that is funny ash seriously we are getting i think close to 80 degrees today the sun is we're shining it is so beautiful yeah, we're outside 80, we're 82. it's just calling you guys outside so we're on a race here to get these chores done to get these boys outside speaking of chores a major life event has happened at the bingham house do you want to share it with our youtube channel i'm doing my own laundry this boy over here is officially doing his own laundry. That's not bad. Not bad. I am a little stressed out by his stained laundry right now. It's like, mom, not I don't even clothes, mom. I can do it myself. <laughs> but really, he's got one load 
upstairs, ready to hang up. The second load's in the dryer. This mom right here is so happy. Proud mom. <laughs> Hashtag proud mom. All right, you guys, jumping on camera here today. I've got Mr. Orlando in the house. Just picked him up from his first full week of physical therapy. That's right, you heard it. Session number, what, 25, Landon? Six. First full week, two weeks left, session number 26. Oh, so have Annabelle in the car today? Annabelle. I, she actually spent the entire day at my office today, which was a ton of fun. So we are heading home to meet up with Lindsay and the rest of the crew. I actually think we got extended like a double date invite to go play tennis. I don't play tennis, but we're gonna go give it a go. All right, guys, so Lindsay is really proud at this very moment <laughs> because she's king of the court now three times in a row. So we're gonna document her fourth win. You guys, we came out on a tennis date tonight. Well, actually, it was Stephanie's. This is yep. my sister. Have you guys met my sister? Probably a Long million time times. Ago. Yeah. So she told me that she was going on a date tonight. She got a babysitter and was going on a tennis date. And I was like, well, we want to come too. So they let us tag along and we just played doubles and it was so, so fun. fun. Because our family is a huge tennis family. That is something we did a ton growing up. Ten, ten, ten. That's true. And Justin doesn't want to play with me very often. Turin, though, he's been wanting to play with me. So Justin, you're out playing with Turin and Stephanie. All right, you guys, we are headed over to Chris's house to clean out our boat for a bit. For those of you guys that are new to the channel, we love boating. In fact, we are obsessed with boating. And we sold our boat this last year, and we bought a, another boat, this time with a friend. So we're heading over there to clean it out because, weather permitting, we actually hope to be able to take it out tomorrow. Even the water's going to be really cold, the temperature's actually going to be really nice. So anyway, I recruited the help of three strapping young men. Everybody, I want to introduce to you Ashton Bingham. Oh. Landon Bingham Hi. and Duran Bingham. <laughs> so the girls are at home having girl time. So us guys are gonna go do the manly work. Go clean it up, boat. Look what I have created! All right, you guys, absolute success in cleaning the boat this evening. I will say that uh, while Chris and I tackled it quite well, we had very minor assistance from the group here in the car. Oh, I helped. Turn, turn help. Turn, I think, is probably most excited amongst all of us to go boating because he's got a new life jacket he got for his birthday. But anyway, so it's late. We've got a game bright and early in the morning that's like an hour and 15 minutes away. So we got to get up at the crack of dawn, take turn to a game. Ava's got a recital. Ashton's got a game. Guys, thanks for hanging out with us today. You guys are amazing. Hope you are enjoying this spring weather. Summer is around the corner. We could not be more excited. Subscribe down below. Smash that like button. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Sure. Bye. Banner, there you go. Bye. All right, you guys, I've got my buddy Lando with me. We are headed to physical therapy. You all know the drill by now. He does three weeks of intensive physical therapy. It's four hours a day, five days a week, and sometimes it overlaps with him going to school all day. In fact, the third week of this session is going to be overlapping with his first week of school this year, his first week as a fifth grader. Lando, what session number is this? Six. Landon has done 26 
obsessions. He's a rock star, he's Hulk, he's Superman, whatever you wanna call him, we're so proud of him. And the best part, we always talk about this, is that he is so positive about it. He never complains. In fact, he's so excited. He loves his sessions. He loves his therapists. He truly has such a good time when he's there. So today is his evaluation. We go for one hour today and they test him on different exercises. They do measurements. They use it as a measuring point so that they know what kinds of things he needs to work on, how far he's come since his last session, and how much progress he makes from day one to day 15 of this session. And then don't push it down. <laughs> okay, now leave it here. Don't let me pull it out. What do you so leave it here okay. and don't let me pull this direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push, pull, 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 pull. Good. Okay, this side. Pull, 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 pull. Good. Go, 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 go. Good job. <laughs> Now I'm making the workout from the get-go. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and this time, don't let me push it up. You're doing awesome. Oh, Lando, high five. That was really good. Okay, here's our next one. Oh, really good. Stable. And switch. Really stable. And one foot. And switch. Oh, well. Sorry. Got it. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know what Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, do 
you told me to stop because you were all trying again. in the car lando you have to tell them what just happened in there okay so guys this is i was doing really well they were having landon practice different exercises that they've been working on over the last 10 years of his life and every time that he would do one she would go wow landon that was really good and then she would do the next exercise and she'd be like landon that's amazing basically landon's doing incredible in fact, when Megan went to the middle therapist, she was like, Landon's knocking us out of the water. <laughs> He blew everyone out of the water. It is showing more and more every single day what a huge success his surgery was. They particularly noticed that his balance is so much better than it has ever been. He has more confidence in the way that he moves his body. He's much more stable. She said there's a particular exercise where he puts one foot in front of the other and she says, we've been working on that for years and I've never ever seen him do it like this before. His running, his jumping, his sidestepping, his walking backwards. She could not say enough positive and you couldn't wipe the smile off of our faces, could you, Lando? Nope. It was making us so happy. Today is such a happy day, such a great day, a great of celebration of how far Landon has come, how much progress he has made. We're so proud of him because it has been hours and hours and hours of dedication, hard work, positive mental attitude, pushing through so much adversity. And I just could not be more proud of this little boy right, right now. But I think what makes my heart the happiest was seeing Landon so happy. It's just something I could never describe. It makes my mom heart so happy to see him doing so well and feeling so good. Love you, Land. Lando and I are back home. We made a few stops on the way home, ran a few errands, stopped at Costco to grab a couple of things. Got a few more than a couple of things, didn't we, Lando? Yeah, we did. <laughs> One of those things, though, was a huge score. Hey, I, have a, I, have a, I have a beautiful fiddle fig tree. It used to be beautiful. <laughs> it's gotten to be so sad. It honestly looked good for a really long time, and just in the last six months, it's gotten pretty sad looking. So Costco <laughs> had a whole bunch of fiddle fig trees. So we got a new one full of leaves, very lively looking. So we're gonna replace that. We also picked up some uniforms. I feel like back to school should be a swear word because I'm not ready for it. Long live summer. It's my favorite time of year and it feels like it has flown by. The kids will be back to school two weeks from tomorrow. So I picked up a few uniforms. We're gonna start getting ready. Stay tuned for some back to school clothing shopping, back to school supply shopping coming here in the next week. But this guy over here is cooking up a storm and when he cooks, so, you're about to witness live. Not bad, what do you mean live? We're not gonna edit out her I am reaction. not eating on camera. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. <laughs> First bite. You have to tell them what it is. I made some mahi-mahi with my own little marinade and seasoning. I haven't even tasted it yet, so we And Lindsay. cauliflower and gnocchi. Trader Joe's find. If you haven't had Trader Joe's cauliflower and gnocchi, it's A plus, we love it. Okay, no more talking, more eating. <laughs> Now be honest, not for you two, be straight up honest for your husband. Go. Can't talk with your mouth full. Honestly. That's amazing. It's amazing. That's amazing. I love how he says it before I do. <laughs> it's delicious. It is truly amazing. Guys, you want the recipe, comment down below. Happy to share it. I'll tell you right now. Very simple. Mahi mahi. And then I used a marinade. <sighs> Let me go check. One second. It's in the garbage. I think that Justin should cook more often because number one, it tastes amazing. And number two, I don't have to cook. So, Ooh, sesame. Is that what you use? It is. Sesame ginger vinaigrette and marinade up with avocado oil. I think it could be used as a dressing or as a vinaigrette. Right. And I love Primal Kitchen I anything. Care. I love Primal Kitchen anything because the ingredients are so clean. Then Cabela's trout and salmon seasoning with a little lemon on top. And some fresh rosemary from the garden. Put it on tin foil, let it broil on the Traeger for a bit. When you're done, pull it off, sear it on the Traeger, fresh rosemary on top. 
and brownie points for all you husbands out there. I'm trying to use the air fryer more often, so I am attempting to air fry some broccoli. Makes it a little bit crispy without frying it. We also, we guess we need to show them what we picked up. Summertime is my favorite because of the fresh produce, the local freshly picked produce. So it's almost peach season in Utah. These actually are from St. George. It's warmer down there, so their peach season is sooner than ours. But I love peach season, I can't wait. We're gonna have to make peach pie, peach crumble, all the peach. All the peach desserts with these fresh peaches. All right, you guys, we are winding down our evening. I cannot believe that summer it's almost over. Our kids start school in two weeks. We're letting them soak it up. Turin, because he is older, has a slightly longer curfew than the other three little ones. So I just got done laying by the other kids. Lindsay and I will divide and conquer the need times. I'll lay by the twins, she'll lay by Ava, and then the next night we will switch. However, Turin tonight is out with some friends a little bit later than the others. And so we're gonna go pick him up right now. Guys, do me a favor, by the way. Comment down below on a good show. Lindsay and I are in search for a really good show. I, I just, I'm struggling. I think COVID really uh, impacted the old, uh, the old production of good TV shows and even good movies. So if you've got something, comment down below. Let us know what it is because once the kids are all in bed, things like that, it's just fun to relax, hang out, and maybe turn on a good show. And I am struggling to find one. What happens if I fall? Oh, we just try again. Okay. But I just want you to practice not falling. Okay, ready? Ooh, I Good. Good. Okay, let's do two more times. Wow. 